Hello, YouTube! What a classic intro that is every single time. Twitch are like watching already, like... All right, here he goes. He's going to talk to YouTube. The things you miss on YouTube. I know, right? We've just had a big conversation about um, like trying to get, get a coffee delivered, and it's worked. It's worked. Um, Today, everybody, we are... This is the Sitch. It is the 30th of June, 2024, and we are now about to have half of our team, all of these highlighted players leave the club their contract expires today and i'm hoping it's going to free up some wages like there's 4k coming out of our wages there another 2.6 1.2 1.6 i'm hoping it means we've got some actual money to um to actually you know bring some players in hello welcome in steven thank you for going across uh hey nardi thank you buddy is this the same episode from yesterday what skin do you use excellent from you uh i'm a solo welcome in buddy what a guy you are Free transfer Lawless trial time. It has to be, doesn't it? It has to be. X10. Oh. Lawless. Thank you, buddy. Wagner love this festive season. <laughs> morning all. Hope we're all feeling the Wagner love this morning. Great work. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the... How many months is that? Ten. What a man. On a ten-month streak as well. What a guy. Today, though, we did have... We did get a budget, didn't we, yesterday? Unfortunately, it's gone. And I don't really know where it's gone. But we've now... We're now 4K over the wage budget it must be um top flight league uh, 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 uh wage increases so i don't, like i don't know what's happened we've got no money i'm hoping it doesn't matter because so many people are going to leave like that surely loads more than that that we're actually going to be able to to still spend some it must be promotion wage rises that's the word that i was looking for um but yeah we're now over and i can't adjust it we've got no transfer budget We've got nothing left. I have, though, because I just progressed up until the 30th of June. I haven't done anything. I haven't bought anybody. Nobody's come in, look. Nobody's even gone out. We're going to have to try and do what we did last time. So you got it, got a budget, but it wasn't a real budget. Yeah, that's exactly it. You'll get about 15k by the looks of it. I'm hoping it allows us to do something. I've stopped here because there's all sorts going on. We are now a Super League 1 team. Look at this. 1.73k is not a budget. Not really, is it? I do an SS gaming. Um, this is the sitch look. We've got... Uh, uh, we're a top flight team. We are, though, season preview-wise, predicted to finish 13th. Not bottom. That's not bottom. You can't see that, can you? We're 400 to 1. It's behind me here. We're 400 to 1. But Nikki Volley, who also got promoted, are 2,000 to 1. So it could be a lot worse, couldn't it? Like, five times worse, actually. Um... Beyond and us might get some game time. He might, actually. He might be getting able to get some game time. He, I need to put him back in the first team, actually, don't I? When all these players go, we're going to be left with, like, okay. well, the ones that are in the team here. That's who we're going to be left with. Not very many is the real answer. Did the board allow you to go on any courses yet? Are they still preventing your education? They're still preventing our education. However, I can now ask again. I've delayed it because I thought we could do it on... um, We could do it live on stream. I can now ask again... For a coaching course unfortunately if we have a look at my profile even though we've gone to the top division my reputation has not changed like it's still half a star which is a bit worrying we're on 1000 across we've had the tick over yeah because we're in the top league now we did win manager of the year which i was hoping would add to our rep right we've got an actual award we've beaten these greek lads we've got an actual award in fact it, it did glitch and weirdly we won the award three times so we've got three awards, I think. We won uh, Greek Super League Manager of the Year, Greek Super League 2 Manage South Manager of the Year, and Greek Super League 2 North Manager of the Year. Because of the the way that the league splits, we've actually won the award three times, which you would say gives us the reputation of Pep, except it hasn't actually changed. Um, it's still half a star. 4K per month with no qualifications. Who needs uni? I know, right? I know. Uh, if they don't give you your coaching course, leave. The only thing is, F the FA, exactly. I don't think we'll get another job. So if we leave, who's going to take us? Because we don't have the reputation. And we don't have the reputation because they won't give us the course. So we're kind of like screwed either way, aren't we? You are the dorking guy, exactly. Uh, are you hoping to create a Will Still situation where they get a meme posted about paying a fine each game? Uh, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what we're going for, isn't it? Shall I ask now or shall I wait this out? I feel like we should just ask, right? You'll get rep after staying up. Well, we said that after... We said we'll get rep after going up. We didn't. I'm just a bit worried that it never happens. Only option is to win the Greek Super League now. Yeah, I guess so. That's true. 
Just got Derby to the Premier League title. Nice, Ash. Very, very good. If you get Europe, it's automatic. Yeah, true. It goes to Continental, right? At that stage, no? Uh, how you doing, Brazilian Fury? Welcome in, Chris. I remembered your name properly there, didn't I? All right, I'm going to say it. Let's see. Please, like, we're in the top league. You'll have to give us... Okay, they didn't say no immediately, but they're going to get back to us. What we're going to do now, and I haven't looked at who's... I've, look, I've not looked at any transfer stuff. I don't know who's going to be available. I don't know who's going to want to join us. But I think we're going to continue and let all of our players go so that we know our budget. Did anything else happen in the meantime? I don't think so. Oh, I've got some... Uh, I, I need to do some more friendlies, actually. I'm going to uh, arrange more than this because it's a really good way of getting money. Oh, yeah, that's one thing that did happen. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Andrew Barraway did put in £325,000 to cover the debt. We're now back in the... We're now back in the positives. So 300 k in the bank. So to be fair... He's done something quite nice there. We were in like 300k worth of debt, didn't we? Found any Easter eggs yet? No, that's true. I've not seen any new gens or anything spawn. So that's true. Have your coaching attributes changed much? Not at all, Reza. They've, uh, they've stayed, they, they, no. Without a coaching badge, they've literally not changed in the slightest. So yeah, it's December while there'll be Easter eggs. Good. <laughs> he'll, yeah, he'll give us 325k, but won't pay for one coaching course for me. Wild. Wild. I mean, look at that, though. Our, our manager timeline now looks great. Looks like we've done loads. We've won, by the way, 75% of our games, which is decent. They'll be in shops 28, uh, December 27th. They actually will, won't they? Right, I've asked, shall I continue the first day? Uh, oh, yeah. Also, just to mention, Mounier retired, Pereira retired. A load of our, like, Vice is going to leave. We knew that anyway. We've actually had loads of people already leave the club. And we've still got, we're still over our wage budget, which is just terrifying, isn't it? Unfortunately, I have to go. Oh, not fla. Enjoy the rest of your day, buddy. Hang on. Continue in 20 minutes. You're feeling okay. I told you, new year, new me. Sort of. Also, don't forget the coffee. That's actually true. Uh, here go our players then. Here goes our, our, our players. Uh, I'm going to grab my coffee. I'm going to scoot over. I got it. I got it. Um, you was paying double the wages within pensions too. Yeah, I guess we were because that's true. That's true. Straight into their pension pot. Uh, still need SI to implement a means where you can use some of the money you get paid as a manager per month to fund your own coaching courses. Yeah, genuinely, that should be a thing, shouldn't it? Like, I know like people want to do go and buy like a house or a car and things, which is silly. But paying for your own coaching course, I guess, is still like it feeds back into the game, doesn't it? So it kind of makes sense. You're right. You created tactics which gave me insane results uh, in the start of the season, but after 15 games, it's suddenly not working. What should I do? It's probably your dynamics. Switch it up and go back to it is usually the way that you, you combat that. But yeah, it's, it is one of those things. I want to buy an ice cream in-game. shouldn't be too hard to implement. I agree. Even just like manager outfits. Let's do it. <laughs> games are meant to be fun, aren't they? Anyway, go to the burger van. Yeah, I want to buy burgers from my own burger van. I want to park my car in the car park. I want to, I want to get to a game... And see the car that I've purchased with my wages parked in the car park. Is that too much to ask, SI? Ollie, come on. Let's get this done. <laughs> actually, now that I say that, I actually want that to be a thing. Like, in all seriousness. <laughs> I want to be able to see me throw a bottle. Yeah, right. I'm going to release all of these, I think. Their contracts have all expired. I don't think I keep any of these on, do I? How you doing, Matt? Welcome in, buddy. Uh, F it. Partner it with the Sims. I'm in. Count me in. When you've managed one game for a ninth tier side, you get a 99 flake. Yeah, it sounds great. They should have a journalist coming to you asking why player X was spotted at McDonald's after a defeat or something. Like more dynamic world things, especially for new gen players then, yeah. Uh, speaking of buying yourself things, have you and Cap bought yourself anything for fun for Xmas, a gift to yourselves? Not really, no. I don't, we've not really sorted presents. We're going to go next week sometime. I bought some other for other people actually that arrived yesterday. But yeah, we've not really sorted it. She bought herself some jeans that might be from me. Um, we'll say. I'm sorry to inform you that you've required you're required to pay a parking fine of ten thousand for parking the burger van without a ticket. Perfect, perfect. Yes, I want that in the game. Si, right? Ramal, forty year old centre back has gone. We're going to release all of these. I think. Let's literally release them. Actually, some of these, if we want to keep them, we might be able to convince them now. Vozniadis, no. Pantos, no. I did want to keep Mustakopoulos. Still says he's considering his options, but maybe he'll talk to me now. Oh, he actually will. Should I keep him then? Okay, this is... Oh, I won't be able to. I don't think... Oh, maybe I will... 
We'll have the wage to offer him. Maybe if I go and release the other ones, we will. He's really good. He wants, oh, he wants important player. That's fine. Okay, I can offer him the wage. Okay, let's keep him. He spent about 500 quid at Smith's. It hurts. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah, you've got kids. It makes sense. Uh, uh, keep the lad. Yeah, I agree. 1.9k yearly wage rise. Minimum fee release. Do you know what? I'm going to put this down because if we get relegated, I think we leave. It's a journeyman. If we get relegated, we just leave anyway, right? <laughs> I think that's actually decent. Get rid of the yearly wage rise. Am I too fussed about the yearly wage rise, chat? Because if we do well, are we going to be here next year? I know it's kind of like, not really our problem, is it? If It's not our problem if they get a yearly wage rise. <laughs> Do what it takes to keep the players that you want. Yeah, exactly. I don't want this guy. He can go. You won't be here next season no matter what. Right. So I think yearly wage rises are fine. Thierry Moutinho, I didn't think was very good anyway. And that's 2.6k. So he's going to go. This guy, I'd love to keep. He'll be so expensive. But I think he's really good. 26-year-old centre-back. Mayas. May oh, actually, yeah, he can. Can I get rid of that? He will stay. What's he want? 3K. That's actually not much more than he had before. All right. This could be good. Minimum fee of 1.6 tells me that he's probably got a decent value as well. We take that down to 500. He might sign that. Ah, we take it. That's less than he had before. Was he on 3. Point, I mean, we got him on 2.6. Oh, he's on 3.8 before. He was. You're right. He's taking a pay cut to stay. Get in. That's a good sign. I'm really happy with that. We're making moves already, chat. Look at us. Uh... Uh, Cheeto says, is it worth getting FM24 on FM23 right now with an FM24 database? Um, yeah, there's quite, there's some nice updates. There's some nice improvements. I'd say it's worth getting, but obviously that depends on your situation, I suppose, doesn't it? The board sets the negotiation limits. That's their problem to let that be an acceptable option. Yeah, that's true. If you let me put, um, yearly wage rises in, then that's their problem, isn't it? Man's willing to get less. What a guy. Big Brain plays that. Yeah, we just waited and waited him out until he was desperate. And now he'll sign for less. You're going to go. Um, I probably shouldn't have given Wagner Love two years uh, on uh, on reflection. Because he's really bad. And now he's 40 and he's on 2.3k a week. Um, that, I'm not sure that was good. That was bad for, by me, wasn't it? He deserved the two years, did he? <laughs> how are we doing with the sl1 prep not great yet bill we've not really done much offer him out i mean does he have value 26k in there we could maybe offer him out at some point yeah have you tried crippling him so he retires i haven't tried that not not yet um you know what? I, I, i'm pretty happy with where we are these guys leave in a year manny fanny we might need to give a new contract to but we can wait you can cross that bridge when it gets to it. We've sold 1,892 season tickets. And we're going to sell 3,200. That seems quite good. He's a personality hire. Yeah, definitely. We bring him off the bench to score penalties every now and then. But that's kind of it, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's a straight... I, 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 he might have been a mistake. I, I'm going to go out there. Go out on a limb and say... He may have been a mistake. <laughs> that's a lot of business for the Burger Vans. Imagine. How many did we have last year? Can I go and just see how many people came to games? All right. So some games, there were 3,000 that came. We had actually really good fans for most of our games. 3,800 here for this Ionicos game. That's like actually really good. And if we've got 3,200 season tickets, we should get pretty good gate receipts, to be honest, shouldn't we? Okay. How does that change things? Let's continue once and they should have gone. And let's see if we've got a wage budget. Because please let us have a wage budget. Right, Vice has also gone. I wonder if we can keep him. Because he's also really good. Yeah, there we go. We've got 4.5k in there. We are going to spend some of that on these guys, though. Um, like Mayhass and stuff. I don't know if we're going to have a lot, you know. Once we've, once we've used it all. We might have used all of it. Who said Frenchino Jr. exists? If you sign Frenchino Jr., I'll be willing to uh, be a personal Wagner Love hitman. I like it. Uh, sorry for interrupting, but have you managed to put your picture in game as manager after the last update? They've updated it again since the last update, Scar. If you now go to uh, preferences, you can now once again put your profile picture in the game. Like they updated it and I had to put it in by loading it in like a config file. And then I had to re-go and do it because they put it back in the game again. So you can do... 
change, you can change your profile picture in preferences again. Uh, morning, Jesus. How you doing, G? I hope you're good. All right, these guys are gone. Ramal, Balulis, uh, Vosniadis, Pantos, Coltsiadis, Edlin, Moutinho. They've said no again. They've said no again to the coaching course. Andrew, we would have to be selfish here. We fear that if you continue to make that sort of progress, that sort of progress... We haven't, well, we haven't let us make any progress. Yeah, I will discuss, but that's mental. Any team suggestions from top divisions in the bigger nations? Um, top divisions in the bigger nations. Go and do Union Berlin. Time to stick it up his, right. <laughs> this club is holding you back. He is. This is mental. This, like, this is actually... A bit backwards, isn't it? We've got promoted to the top division and the the board won't let us get one single coaching course because they're being selfish and they don't want me to leave. How would it not? Yeah, we don't believe that it would be beneficial for you to undertake a course right now. I think it would. I think that's a lie. I'd resign, to be honest. It's a bit annoying. Um, I might actually post this in the... Uh, in the bugs place because I think well, it's just not really realistic, is it? Like even if there's a genuine reason and it happens a lot and it's maybe designed like this, I don't think it should be designed like this. I think it's a bit rubbish. There's a lot of grammars in the game this year. Yeah, there are actually. There's a few. FM24 has that issues I've seen online a lot. Was, oh, have people posted about it? It's really annoying. Like the whole idea of the save is to like better yourself and improve but if the board just keeps saying no i get it at the start like we're in the lower division etc etc but we've been promoted we're in the we're in the super league we're in the top division the top flight of greece and your manager doesn't have a coaching badge you'd think they would make it happen right yeah if it was they couldn't afford it fine if i yeah actually i i i, I, I agree beyond it's not good if they're in like if they can't afford it i get it even if it's like the first time they're like, we don't really want you to, but then you convince them. I'd get it also. It's quite a nice thing to include there. Oh, by the way, we did go... No, we didn't. I thought we were 11% before. What were we before? Also, not having a badge in the Super League 1 is illegal. Yeah, it literally doesn't meet the league rules either. thing is, if you're, say, a Charlton or a Torquay, whoever, you get it. Yeah. Why am I not getting a badge? Please. Start applying for different jobs to put the pressure on. That won't help though, will it? Because I won't get those jobs and they'll just, I'll just, like, th this could actually happen. I could apply for other jobs, won't get them because I haven't got a badge. Then I'll get sacked from this club because I haven't got a badge because uh, I've applied for other jobs. Then I can't get any jobs because I haven't got a badge. So it then your save's done. It's over. Finished. Finito. So, yeah. Get onto the job list. I will have a look at the job list, but I don't think it, it's a good idea. Man U, they need me. They need me. Um, Almeria, that could be fun, couldn't it? Some managers don't have a badge and register their assistants as managers. Live your, uh, live your myth in Greece. I mean, that's quite good. When you ask for it next time, you can ask multiple times, which gives you multiple talk to the board opportunities, which kind of forces it through. You can ask multiple times. What? Oh, right. So when you first ask, you can ask again. I couldn't, though. I couldn't there because when I, when I went on my profile, it said start a coaching course. I couldn't ask again unless you think you mean in here, you can ask loads. Yeah, in the drop down. Yeah, I don't think it, I don't know if you would let me then though. Shouldn't there be a board force you to take a course dialogue at the end of a successful season? There should be. It's just, I mean, it's not. There's not. Um. Yeah, so the Tom Lockyer thing was terrifying. Just hope he's all right, isn't it? Um, I think that is probably career over though, but at least he's alive. Um, yeah, when you apply, you don't continue. You just click it again and again. Yeah, but I couldn't, unless you just mean on here, I didn't continue first of all, and I couldn't, it, the option wasn't here anymore. Like I said, start a coaching course and then it wasn't there the next time because I checked, like I actually did go on it again. It seems to be bugged if you, if you, if you ask multiple times, you get multiple no's. I think, yeah, I don't know. It's a bit of a tough one though. I don't want this one to derail the entire... Yeah, yeah, unless I think they did fix it then. I don't want them to... Yeah, the option comes back after a while, but it's like months later for us. We've, we've, we've now asked for it three times and three times been denied, haven't we? 
I don't want this bug, if it is a bug, to derail the whole save because that would be really sad after actually actually getting through a season really quickly. <laughs> you might get a similar star club. We might. Like, who's what is our stars now at this club? It's two and a half national. I just don't. I actually don't know if we do. Don't have to take the job. I don't even know if we'll get the offer though, will we? And I don't know if I want to. I just don't want to get sacked because I'm asking. So Burton are two. Valicano are three. Almeria are three. And they're... Like, Valicano's tempting. Like, look at their form. It's horrible. But I don't know if I want to just go again with... You won't get sacked. I don't know if I want to go again with this club anyway. Like, we were planning to go again with this club anyway. And I don't think it's going to hurt us too much if we go again... And then don't get one. And we, we're in this situation next year. I don't think that's the worst idea anyway. I don't think I want to apply for another job right now, chat. Even though that's disappointing. I think I want to do the two seasons with Calathea regardless. Just to test the water. I think I prefer not to test the water though, to be honest. Never mind not being sacked. What? Uh, could it be you don't have enough other staff in the club to cover your coaching absence? Well, they didn't give that as the, as the uh, reason... I can probably ask for more coaches now. I think I want to do the next season anyway, though. It's your save to what you think is right. I think we're going to do another season regardless, but we'll see. So know where you stand. I'd rather I'd rather not, I think. Um, I will like to bring in some more staff members, though. We've got now space for one coach, one head performance analyst, and, one, and two other performance analysts, I think. At least reputation goes up after a season in the top flight if they don't agree to it at the end of the season. Yeah, right? So at least that's true. Even if we don't get the coaching course we'll at least get the rep won't we just to see if you get an interview I don't, i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it um we need to sort staff so let's do a little bit of staff now one more coach um let's see who is a good coach that we can bring in probably everyone here has watched them but i came across your uh, fm movies yesterday best fm content i've ever seen on youtube congrats and looking forward to more thank you buddy appreciate that yeah um i'm proud of them We've got another one. In, we've got another two in the works, actually. In network game response, cowards. Yeah, I just don't want to compromise anything. I'd rather not even just to see. I just don't really want to. Yeah, we've ticked over to top flight and they're still not giving me one, which is the annoying thing. Yeah, one more season makes sense. I think we're going to do one more season. Let's uh, let's find one more coach. Um, I like the coach roles. They don't actually need to be a coach, do they? Probably not going to be any 20s in all of those. That's filtered. What's going on with that then? Okay, there we go. That's better. Uh, right, trial army. Yeah, we're going to have to bring in a trial army. Let's do seven out of nine. Right. These look pretty good. These two. Habala and Philippe Ortiz. Looks like a quite a good coach generally, actually. I'd be surprised if it was a bug. More likely that you're bored. Uh, I mean, maybe that's the case. Maybe. If other people are saying it's happened in other saves, though, then, um, then maybe not. Ask for a new contract, get contract, and then ask the board for a coaching course. Does that help? We could ask for it anyway, couldn't we? Um, shall I bring in this guy as a coach? Just as a normal coach, I think. It'll be more secure in their eyes. That's true. We can try it, can't we? We can try it to fund the course. Yeah. Uh, personal, because it is an option on here. I'll see what the board say about a new contract. Um, at least the reputation... Yeah, oh yeah, I've joined us over that one before. Yeah, the rep's going to go up. Also, a few more players leaving here. That'll also add to our wage budget. Some big wages actually coming out of this. Then we will definitely know where we stand. And then it's transfer time. I want there to be some real characters that we bring in. And I think there will be some good ones. Pedents. We're going to be playing against people like Daniel Pedents. Wasn't he there already? Or was that like his loan made permanent or something? Yeah, his loan may permanent. Okay. What did they say to us? They haven't answered us about the... They've literally just aired us about the contract, which is fun. I normally put in my requests at interviews, and if they say I can't do courses, I won't accept the job. Yeah, it's a bit, I mean, we just started the save here, though, didn't we? So it doesn't really work for that. But yeah, next time. Have you set yourself a max time at a club just or just see what happens? Just see what happens. A, a gen, like a general vibe is the two seasons, but... We're just going to see what happens. Like, I don't want to make it a finite thing at all. Signing, signing, signings. Exactly, on solar. Cheers. Beautiful, that. Beautiful coffee. All right. 
What's the wage budget? Did those guys leave yet? I don't think they did, did they? I want them to go and then I want to know exactly how much money we've got. July the 1st. It's a beautiful day on FM, isn't it? A beautiful day. How are you doing, John? Good morning to you. Hope you are well. And we've got Enrique Iglesias playing. Of course we have. Right. Here they go. Three join Bodrum. There go those guys. Goodbye, Silver. We have now got 8K. It's all right. We've got like the foundations of a team anyway now, haven't we? Manthesis can come back here. These guys haven't actually signed the contract yet, but they will be. That's a sign to get Bruno in. It might be. Oh, my, they'd be a great signing. Let's put these other lads that I'm keeping in. Did I offer you one? You're not a centre-back. Should I... Should I keep him? I'm almost thinking all of the good ones I should just keep and then try and improve on. Because he won't be too much either, I don't think. Nah, Vice is month to month. So yeah, I haven't offered him one yet, have I? How about that? I'm good, thank you, Jaywig. Where's those uh, non-contracts? Yeah, signed a ting, exactly. Do you have any transfer money? No, Pav. We got 1.7k. So, I mean, technically, yes, but not much. <laughs> Here we go. Yes, Jonas. I think... I'm just going to see what he wants. 1.6k, I think's cheap for a player that could be a starting right back. Important player, like four-star ability. I know we don't have any other players to compare to, but, you know. We can make it 1.5, which is cheaper than you were on before. We can make this 100. It's a done deal. Right, 1.6. Right, you're not being very, very negotiating right now. Maybe clean sheet bonus and a little bit extra in here. Right, 1.7k. We'll take it. Uh, Rockman is a dope name. I'd can culturally appropriate that for a boy child if someone gave me one to name. <laughs> Just out of the blue, you've gone for that there. I like it. All right. Is that his middle name? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Rockman. I think he can come in and be our right back. And we've got the basis. Anything else is going to be improving. Maybe you're not a starter, actually. Wagner Love on the bench. I don't know th who this guy is. Another slightly terrifying buzz cut lad. We've got a lot of those. And who are you? Are oh, you been here ages? Are oh, you on loan? That's why I don't know who you are. Oh, is this... Is this a... Uh... Um, Manos is mate. I don't know if he's here, but Manos had a mate that was at Mykonos, wasn't he? Is this him? Is that why I put him in the first team? That's why I'm looking at him going, who's this? <laughs> Spam the trials. Here we go. Exactly. Uh, he's been at Mykonos. He's had a wild year. He's had a great time, hasn't he? He's not going to be a very good footballer, though, is going to be my guess. You're keeping those Eastern European lads off the street and safe from the John Wicks of the world. You should get a medal. Uh, sure. Sure. Should we have a look at some signings, everybody? You just moved from Uruguay to Serbia in your journeyman. Love that. Love that. If you look for complete forwards and wing backs, they're usually better players as need to be for the roles. Good tip. Good tip, that. Okay. We've got no scouting range, so we're going to cheekily put this up to world for now. I don't know what the foreign and homegrown rules are, but we're going we're gonna to vibe with it and see what happens. Let's look for some players. Let's just do world rep to start with. Who is the most reputable player? Carlos Baca. Welcome. 37 years old. Alan Zagoev. Ravel Morrison's back on here. Javino's still there. Is this, is this actually sorted? It is. Carlos Baca. Use the DOF. We will do at some point. Um, what's your pace like? That's, that's Wagner Love, isn't it? This is just a Wagner Love situation. I liked Carlos Baca. He was good back in the day, wasn't he? Javino, I think I'm going to avoid. Orlan Pabon, that's another throwback, isn't it? Again, could be a good 10, actually. Costas and Barbarouses, nice. You started a journeyman, but it changed to a builder nation because I don't want to leave this club. That is always the... That is an occupational hazard for a journeyman, always, that you don't want to leave. I, My Malvern save was a journeyman, and then we stayed for 15 years or whatever. Nasser Chadley. Um, Tarek, Papi Cisse is on there. I'm just going to scroll these because this is what we're in it for, really, isn't it? Naming obscure footballers from the past. Uh, T.A.V. Bafuma. Dudu. What am I on here? Yeah, doubtful. <clears throat> he was good back of the day. Good. That, that's very good, actually. Uh, you did his journeyman and I stayed at Leon for a long, long time. Yeah, that Leon save was very good, though. 
I had the, uh, I got to see that one, didn't I? Didn't do the video, but I got to see the save, which was fun. Um, Solomon Kalu is still there. It's kind of the same players as before, you know. Brown a day, West Brom legend, I want to say. Not legend. That's really pushing it, isn't it? All right. I'm not seeing loads of players here. What a goal that was from Papi Cissé. It was brilliant, wasn't it? Uh, Defected.com calls this sort of bit where you scroll and read out names. Let's remember some guys. That's exactly what we're doing, isn't it? Welcome in, Mackenzie. Hope you're good. Let's remember some guys. Ryota Morioka. Who was he at? I recognize the name. Was it Andalect? Maybe that's where. Not sure. Um, these guys are whack. They're not great, are they? It, it, they didn't look amazing. Our DOF, who does he suggest then? We want really a right winger? A uh, free transfer right winger. John Vasquez, Edouard Lopez. Is that 92? What's that 92 of? Recommend Scout recommendation. Okay. King Kazoo, no. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. John Vasquez, to be fair, is a baller. As a right winger. <laughs> Please don't be age. Please don't be age. <laughs> yeah, good. He looks quite good, though. Welcome to the trial. Great recommendation from the uh, from the DOF there. He's done very well. Is Daniel Sturridge knocking about? I hope so. Edouard Lopez, another. Uh, where's he pulling these, these, um, these Colombians from? The DOF's going to be our best mate. I think he is. Look at this guy. Is he better? His physical seem better. It's bold, though. Trial them all. Yeah, definitely. Welcome to the club for four weeks. Bloody hell, DOF. He's just pulling them absolutely out of the fire, isn't he? Well, that's the same bloke. Definitely not the same bloke. I, I mean, I'm just going to compare them quickly. It might not matter, but... Yeah, Lopez is better. Probably Colombia is where he's pulling them from. Yep, brilliant. I think he's better, though, the uh, Lopez. And then Rafael Bilu, a Brazilian. We do like... He's got tattoos on his face. He's got face tattoos. I don't know what that means, but it seems significant. Very, yeah, they do have very similar attributes. Uh, how you doing, Unai? This guy also, inside forward, the left-footed. I like him. That makes him scary. Sign him up. Yes. I think you should just do pure vibes FC if only stay in one more season. Pick up people like Jaggy Elker and just vibe out. The problem is we would then get relegated. He does love South America. He's a prisoner is what that means. He's going to shank you if you sub him. I'm interested. Not I mean shanked. In signing him, I mean. He, where have you found him? He's playing for Cruzeiro. Find a complete forward and we're cooking. I'm going to look for a complete forward now. I say find one. I'm just going to ask my DOF to find one. Free transfer, complete forward, please. None? You having a laugh? Right, the two strikers, three strikers he's come up with are Abubakari Kante. It's quite good, actually. He is actually quite good. Experience over skill, in my appearance. There, there is that. Jared De Silva, very good player. I don't know who that is, though. Back in my day, you only face, the only face tats you were, were teardrops for each murder you did. Yeah, not you. you. Yeah, yeah, no. I didn't have any of those. From the Gambia. Yeah, two caps for them as well, actually. Your DOF has added a gap here in South America. I would assume so, yeah. Um, he looks quite good. We'll get him on a trial. No complete forwards is a bit disappointing, but still. Uh, Manu Justo, a Spaniard. Where are these? Like, Do these want loads of money or something? Am I just going to be disappointed that I can't get them? Because they're all very good. Five foot nine, not particularly quick. We'll, uh, we'll definitely trial him, but I think I preferred the other guy. Sign him up. Come on, be rapid. Ru Ruyeri Blanco. It's a fantastic name. I've got high hopes. I've got high hopes. Your DOF is the SI database. Yeah, I guess. All right, a Colombian. He's pretty quick. You have to use Jared De Silva. I think he would fit perfectly in your team. I'll, I'll, I'll search for him, but we have no idea that he's even going to be interested, do we? Um, he looks good. He's better than Abubakari. I think he is. Great, great pace, 13-13. Six foot, South American. Good finishing, dribbling, first touch. Composure a little bit low. Technique's really good, though. Off the ball's really good. Remember the Blanco Mexican, yeah. Rieri Blanco. I like him. I like him a lot. Let's get him trialed. And I will now, because you keep saying, I will I will look for Jared De Silva. Why is this in capitals? 
Why am I shouting it? Is it this guy? There's only... I've only got these ones. Yeah, silver. If it's this guy, great, but he's worth two mil. I don't think we're going to get him. How did your DOF find good players? I don't know. I just ask him. Our director of football's pretty good. Look. Considering our level, having a DOF that's got 15, 16 ability potential, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's niche, Ollie, but I like it. It's a great reference. The fact that you knew that I would understand the reference as well is what makes that a really good reference, isn't it? <laughs> we beat Shamrock Rovers 2 in League 1. Uh, oh, nice. Swinging that rifle's hammer, yes. Um, Where else did I say I needed a player? I need one centre-back, don't I? A left-sided centre-back, if possible, could really help. We've got a 19-year-old called... Oh, it's Alfie Dorrington. We see him in every new lower league save we ever do. On a free transfer from Spurs, do you fancy a little stint? Did you kidnap your DOF? Uh, can neither confirm nor deny, I'd like to say. Do you fancy a little stint in Greece, Alfie? What about Maximiliano Perg? You know I'm going to go for this guy instead, though, don't you? Decent jumping reach, six foot one. Agility is, he can't turn, unfortunately. And I'm going to say he's a walking red card because he's Uruguayan, but I thought that was a red card. That's why he's got an injury. Does that put me off? Who doesn't fancy a stint in Greece? Exactly. Um, he was on the bench for Spurs, was he? Dorrington. That's cool. And then I think I recognize this name as well. Another like English lower league player. Alfie is somebody's, is anybody's for a bag of chips by the look of it. Yeah, he seems to be just like, be quite cheap. We've got bids for Colchester, Ro Port Vale and Rotherham though. Is he ex-Liverpool, is he? Hiweke. He is. I didn't even know that. Good, good, good stuff, Pav. I, yeah, maybe that's why I recognise his name though. But yeah, I didn't, don't think I knew that. Um, Turning circle of a bus. I don't love any of those, by the way. I don't love any of those. I'm just going to look for a ball player in, in case some different ones come up. Right, here we go. A, J a Japanese international called Tayo Koga. This is better. Oh, he's ex-Wolves as well, was he? Fair enough. That'll be why then. I prefer him. He's either footed as well. And just because he's Japanese, I think it's better. He's worse than the others at playing out. Yeah, he can't... Pu he's, yeah, his marking and, pu and tackling isn't good either. Ask for a DM and see if they have familiarity. That's not a bad idea, actually. I just like the idea of him being Japanese and that is, is quite fun. He can't defend, can he? Yeah. Okay, Johan Barre. Bit better? A bit better. Very right-footed. Does he prefer the right? Natural on the right. I like him. Yeah, I don't know why he came up for the ball-playing defenders, but the other ones, did, like, and he didn't on the other ones, but he's worse at being a ball player, which is a bit odd. I quite like him, though, Johan Barre. This fella's pros? Get him in the van. Yeah, the pros are good, actually, aren't they? He's very decent, that French fella. Barry's perfect for surviving SR1 and even further. I like him, yeah. Predictions for today's game, says Hamza. Mine is Liverpool 3 up the Reds. I'd be quite happy with that. As long as Liverpool win, I'll be very happy. I'm a bit nervous. Are the registration rules the same in the, as the second division? I'm going to guess so. Who's he wanted by? Get you in on a trial, lads. Come on in, Barry. All right. God bless Gary Anderson. Won me 40 quid last night. Very nice. Very nice. Liverpool 3, Manchester United 5. Do you think? <laughs> That'd be quite a game. All right, let's clear. In fact, I'm not going to clear them because we might come back to these. What other positions did we want to look at just whilst we're here to get in on trial? We need another centre mid, don't we? We need like a proper ball player in that midfield. No. What do you mean no? Uh, sentiment. What do we want? Deep line playmaker. Let's look for one of those first. I love. They're my faves. Um, Yavi Mia, Spaniard, little Gavi. Quite looks a bit like that. I don't know if that if that's an issue, but as a United fan, don't be worried. I've seen so many people say that Isaac. So many United fans saying I can't see us getting anything. Why? I don't know why you'd be worried. That makes me more more worried. <laughs> uh, Boxy said he's doing his yearly Hereford save. 
Love that. Respect. Got to the championship and finding it hard to sign anyone that's actually an improvement. Getting uh, get given one million year, hundred K wage. Sold like 20 mil worth of players last season as well. Players don't fancy moving to the whites because of our stature, financial muscle. Yeah. Championship can be a bit of a, you might need to spend a couple of seasons in there. Um, and then, yeah, one of those. I, 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 I understand it. I feel it. I've been through it. Check if Yuki Kobayashi is on the outs at Celtic. Central defender Japanese might be loanable. We'll look at loans after, I think. Is there non-EU rules in the Super League? I'm just going to check the rules because you're probably right to do that. Uh, Non-EU. The match squad must have no more than five non-EU players. Youth contract players are not allowed to play. Uh, they must be registered. No more than five non-EUs. Now, if I go to my squad... We've actually so far... Are these non-EU or are these just foreign? Is there a difference is what I'm trying to see. Foreign, non-EU. Foreign, non-EU. Yeah, we do need to be careful, but are... So those Spaniards will be fine, right? So it's just non-EU, non... Not just... There's not just a foreign rule anymore. Before there was a foreign rule, wasn't there? Thanks for the memories, Vaden Love, but you're not you're non EU. Yeah, exactly. Before, in in the lower league though, there was a slightly different there was it, it uh, differentiated between foreign players look and non EU players. So anyone who was French was also was foreign last year, but now they're fine. So players like Lazar is fine now. Vice is fine now, and I think he was foreign last year. So actually it's it's not too bad. I think we were allowed eight foreigns last year and five non EUs anyway. So I think we're okay. You uh, did a Pana, Panathalaikos save and you struggled with that. It's always a bit of a restrictor, isn't it? To sign all the South Americans with the EU passports. Yeah. We'll have a look at any of them. That, that might be the turning point for whether we sign them, right? Lazar Markovic for right mid. What is Lazar Markovic up to these days? Because I'll be shocked if he's still a footballer. Uh, yeah, we're not going to sign him. Although I think we can get a player that's better than him that isn't worth five mil. But yeah. I don't want to sign this guy because of his little short head. Um, is that harsh? I think it's harsh, but yeah. Dylan Mertens. He looks pretty good. An orchestrator in the midfield. What's his passing? 12 passing, 12 technique, 12 vision. He's okay. Was he ever a footballer? Oh, at one point. Dami Age. What, Markovic? Yeah. Still with the caps lock on there. Still got the caps lock on, yep. Or a quiff. Yeah, just the little, the, the brill cream slicked quiff there. Like it. You got to rate it. Um, he's not amazing though. And then finally, a Moldovan 33-year-old with no physicals. Not a massive fan of that. Let's look for a maybe a box-to-box -box instead. That might be the best like way to find a midfielder. João Paulo, now we're talking. He sounds... I was going to say Brazilian. He's from Cape Verde. Um, fully Cape Verde. Cape Verdean. Uh, probably not going to sign him then, although he looks quite good. I like the idea of having a Cape Verde in with 21 caps. However, he's going to be non-EU, isn't he? He can play left back and left mid and left wing and defensive midfielder. We'll trial him, yeah, for sure. I like the look of him, though. He looks like a good player. Passing and he's more of like a, a ball winner, isn't he? Trial the lovely fella. He looks happy as well. Nice smile. Um, Ilias, this guy's called Kutsupias. So I'm assuming Greek. He might need to be a van just because he's Greek and he's quite good. He's only 23 as well. He's going to be port... Oh, was he, Aris? In three days, it's so... Do I need to wait until he becomes Portuguese? Yeah. So in 10 days time, he becomes Portuguese. So I just can't sign him for 10 days, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost certainly. I mean, usually Cape Verdeans, there's a lot of uh, Cape Verdean and um, uh, Portuguese crossover. Is that because of the, like, where is Cape Verde? What's the history of that? Is that like the, like, um, the triangular slave trade? Is that why the, there's Cape Verdean heritage in Portugal? Below Madeira, is it? Or is it literally just off the coast of Portugal? obviously Portugal were massive in that way. It's Canary Islands, is it? Okay, so it's actually closer. Um, I just wondered. Yeah. It's in southern it's in southern Africa. Maybe then, I'm not sure. Things I didn't expect to hear in the stream today. Just was a bit of history, isn't it? They were Portuguese in Africa. Well, Portugal were one of the main instigators of the slave trade, weren't they? In the what was it, fourteen hundreds? Something like that. Um 
Portugal, Spain, and then Britain. Yeah. And coming next on the one show, we explore the historical slave trade out of Cape Verde. It's good, it's good, it's good to talk, talk history, isn't it? Right? Lovely holiday. Have you been? Nice. I'm interested in starting a journeyman save. What rules have you set yourself? None really, Louis, to be honest. Just kind of like started low, see where we go. But just basically saying, I'm going to not stay at one club. I'm going to move. That's kind of it. Cape Verde used to be a Portuguese colony. Yeah, that, that makes sense then, yeah. Makes sense. Um, FM plus education takes me back to high school. That's it. That's it. Um, what do we think of this guy? Uh, basically, though, on, back to Jao Paulo. Shall we wait for 10 days? And then he will become... If I bring him on trial, does that halt his national thing? Or do we bring in this guy, the soup man, because he's Greek? Set on a note, a note on him with a reminder. I think we've got a whole chat, though, that can be the note, right? On the 10th of July, slash 11th of July, we need to check Jao Paulo. Chat, you need to remind me. Sound good? That's if we get there in today's stream, which, I mean, we'll see, won't we? He's a Greek international, so I think he's worth getting. You're probably right. Let's at least trial him. Yeah, I think, he, I think he'd, be, he'd just be solid for us, wouldn't he? He's decent. The, yeah, he's actually... He, he, I think we have to get Superman, don't we? And then finally, Jakob Power, who doesn't have any physicals. Do you know what? I'm going to continue. I'm going to say... I'm going to find out what, what happens like with those trials and then maybe go from there. I don't want to over, like, overdo it because I think the more you do... Um, if you do too much of... If you, I'm going to forget the players and then, yeah, sign him and set his nickname as Soupman. You're going to do what? I don't know what I said then, but let's just, let's just not go back to it. Sign Ilias directly for registration purposes and is so, uh, solid indeed. Yeah, I agree. 15 aggression from the Slavic region. Nice. DOF. Why did you say DOF? Any attacking mids from the DOF and left wingers who can play right? All right. We'll come back to that though. Uh, I don't need to answer that question. I don't need to talk to you. Right. Kante said no. Jao Paulo does join. Let's see if this stops his days going down. Because if it does, we need to cancel his trial. Blanco, I like him a lot for striker. Edvar Lopez was the right winger. Vasquez was the other right winger. Justo, I didn't love as much anyway. Barrett for centre-back, I really did like. Justo can come in. Uh, Soupman, definitely like him. And Bilio has the face tattoos. So quite like him. Let's get them in and see if they get really... Let's see what their scout reports say, basically. Coach reports, etc. He might have trained with Martin Skirtle. I imagine he did, if he's got that type of aggression. <laughs> Wait till the end of trials be cheaper. Yeah, possibly. Um, did he go down a day on his... Still 10 days. I don't know if we've actually... We haven't actually gone a day yet, have we? So tomorrow, if this goes down to nine days, it's probably fine. So he looks pretty good, though. Star player. Doesn't say how much he'd want, though, does it? Blanco... I know he might be cheaper, but I'm kind of tempted to just get him in. Is he that good, though, or can we find better? I yeah, know. Martin Skirt with hair. What? Like, that's mental that he just didn't have... He, like, he didn't have hair that whole time whilst he was playing by choice. Odd. John Flanagan for right back. I'm all right, I think. Any tips on having players attracting interest from bigger clubs as a small Norwegian team? Do I cash in or just look for, and just look for free transfers? Yeah, probably. If you need money, cash in. If you're like... If you really attach them, just hold on to them with your full, all of your powers. But to be honest, they're going to want to leave, aren't they? So you cash in, buy one of the kids is kind of the way to do it. No, John Flanagan's not a nice person though. I don't like that Blanco doesn't like big matches. Yeah, that is true. Doesn't enjoy big matches. Do we have big matches? Can play in more than one position? Kind of. Or can't actually. Counts towards the league though, does he? I know he doesn't. It's a con. Sorry, I was reading it. Yeah, he's also foreign, isn't he? Non-EU. We can have some non-EUs. Yeah, we're not in a position to care about big matches. That's kind of true. Maybe we'll come back to that and, and weigh that up afterwards. Lopez, again, is going to be non-EU. We can take some in, but we kind of need to be a bit careful, don't we? Just check that you're going to be non-EU. You are. These Colombians he's found. Barre. Yeah, look. Okay, is consistent as well. Good player for most teams. Relishes big matches. I don't think he's good enough to be one of the non-EUs. I think I agree. Barre is that guy. Although his ability is quite low. But maybe that's comparing him because we've got Mayhas, who's quite good as well. We'd see someone doing a save with Calathea. Why did you choose them? Lovely, lovely kits. Um, Con is main, main, the main reason. Check them left wings and cam. I'm thinking going to find a gem. Okay. 
Barre, I might offer him a contract. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. We're keen on signing him 3.1k. It's not, it's not awful. But it is a lot of our money. But we need a centre-back. And I think it'd be a good one. You've gone for Barnet there. <laughs> um, this might be okay. If we can do 2.6k, this will be fine. I don't mind paying more with the money. I don't want to use up the wage budget. So I'd rather do appearance fees and keep the, the, the weekly wage down just so I can then buy other people. Even if it runs the club into the bank, into the ground financially, it's better for me in terms of success, isn't it? Quite selfish. But if it's a journeyman, kind of makes sense to me. Give the agent a bit more. Barry is that guy. I think you're right. 2.7k a week. You need to come at a 2k relegation none on all of them. I kind of, maybe I should do the relegation all the way down. Because if we get, yeah, you're probably right. Manu Justo, not massively into. Kutsupias, though, I think I'm into. Yeah, this is season two, Con. Kutsupias, let's have a look at those. Oh, all of the pros, none of the cons. That's beautiful. Consistent. Would be a good player. Can improve in the future, too. He's the guy. We have to spend all of our money on him, don't we? Soup man. And he's Greek. That's what I mean, Aris. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to check. When we go one, when we continue one day, we're going to see if uh, the Cape Verdean guy's number comes down. Because if it doesn't, we'll cancel his try on. I love the Greek soup. Greek soup. Please don't want too much. 3.9 to 4.9 is a lot. Let's see if we can work with that. Star player. We can offer... Okay, we can actually offer him it. We can get him. It just might be all of our money. So, let's put that right up. See if we can go to like 3.2. Let's put this down at naught. Get the soup. I think he's worth the big money. I agree. Ugh. I put that down loads and you still want loads. Lower the minimum fee. Yeah, good point. I think that's just worth it. I know that he's going to, we're going to spend a lot of money on him. But he's our guy, isn't he? Get the soup. Welcome, soup. And then Bilyeu, actually really high, highly rated. He's not half English or something, is he? I doubt he's going to be half English, but you know what I mean. Yeah, he'd be non EU. Why have we not got, oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Sign him. That's a hot bowl of soupias. Yes, it is. Should probably be doing naught pound, naught pound signing on fee. Yeah, but it comes out of here, so I'm not too upset about it, to be honest. Soup at the car parks. Get some soup vans. Um, on the availability sc screen, what are you talking about, Stephen? You can get the agent to lower his fee. Yeah, I, we talked about that yesterday, actually. However, they usually lower it, but then hold you to that, and usually you can negotiate it lower anyway. The agent fee needs to be zero, though. Yeah, we're going to do what we can, though. Um, we can register this guy, can we? Sure. All right, these guys have been released. Bernard, is that the, like, ex-Everton Bernard? It is. Is he, like, half Greek now? Half Spanish? Is he interested? Quite a fun one. Uh, No, no interest. As that comes out of transfer budget. Yeah, true. I mean, it won't if we've got no money, <laughs> will it? Sign him. What, Bernard? I don't know. I doubt any of these are going to be interested. I'll, I'll, I'll see if they'll come in on a trial, I suppose. We might as well see if they'll join, yeah? Another former Everton, yeah. This Tyson was good once upon a time as well, wasn't he? When he was at Shakhtar? Yeah. I doubt he's going to be interested in us, though. Let's see if we'll come on a trial and maybe. Jibble Sidibe there. Brandon Thomas. How is Brandon Thomas Spanish? Also... Hideous earrings. Other nationalities English. Did he just like go on holiday and then never come home? Like, who is this guy? He's been in Spain his whole life. Love that. It's called Brandon Thomas. He looks kind of Spanish now as well. Rate it. Um, Matia wants... To, who are you? Oh, we can sell you then. Get out of my club. We might actually still have some in our... 
under 19s those players that i ostracized and then never managed to sell might actually this is another one look 19 year old there's beyond uh, parents went to ibiza on holiday and didn't return yeah i guess so there are some huge players yeah i don't think any of them would be interested in though interested in us though um okay it was just one it was javi matia who hopefully we can sell maybe get an extra bit of wages in I'm going to decline to talk to you and get you really upset, I think. Um, right, let's go. I want to go to the next day to see what happens with Jao Paulo. All right, these have all said no to us. Yeah, no, they, they weren't interested in that. <laughs> Always good when the manager says, who are you to a player? Yeah, it happens quite a lot, doesn't it, that? Not great. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> uh... If you want to centre back, you should sign Voras, very underrated player. Thing is, if they're not coming up on my list of frees, well, there's not a lot we can do because I haven't got any money to sign them. So it's kind of one of those streams where suggesting players isn't particularly helpful. We have to find them on here, don't we? Right, big dipper. Oh, we did get the new contract. No, Bastia have made a deal, an offer for Barre. We might lose out to him. He might stay. Oh, and Kutsupias. Do I need to offer more for these? Should I change their contract offers? No. This is always what happens, isn't it? We get excited. We think we've done all of our business. And then they get offered. Then other teams take them. It always happens. Right. They've said yes to a new contract, though. What do you think they've offered him? Shall I offer more? You can't. I can change the contract offer. Right. What do you mean you can't? I could offer more to him. I could up offer up to 4.4k, couldn't I? Follow me. Okay. I don't want to click it and then not be able to offer anything, though, and then it muds it completely, which sometimes has happened in the past. Uh, your journeyman save started with Young Reds, the B team of Antwerp, then helped Belshina Bobriusk to avoid relegation now at Cornella in the Spanish third div. That is a proper journeyman. You can't afford to as won't get the others. Yeah, I know what you mean, but... If this is our main defender, our main guy, I think I kind of want to still. Or do I just wait and see if he chooses us? Maybe he does. Take £0 manager contract. What do you need the money for? That is true. Financial security, though. And Kutsupias has had offers from Crete, Ascoli, and some Italian teams. Spal have offered him one as well. You'll find some, someone else. Always happens. Yeah. I kind of want them, though. Shall I take the new contract, then? They've given us an extra £500 a week. And then hope I can ask for a, con uh, uh, a coaching course now. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I really want you. I'm going to do... Just going to offer a bit more for him. Right, Border delighted that I've signed a new deal. I know we can't afford this, but these are the two, aren't they? It's like £500 more. Like he likes that. Okay, now can I? I don't know if it triggers it to be able to allow me to ask for another one immediately. It doesn't. So I've signed a new contract and they still won't let me go for a coaching course. I don't know why I would sign that contract, really. I really shouldn't be, should I? Anyway, we have, it's uh, hopefully the next time they'll say yes then. We'll see. I'll say, uh, I'm pleased to have been given the opportunity. I can almost guarantee it. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to look for those other players, but I do want to see what happens with these guys first. Because next time they say yes because of the contract, do you reckon? Hopefully. Hopefully. That would be a good play if we make that work. We've got a bid. Is this for Mantia? Mantia, it is. We take this. He's on 1.6k a week. 7k. Ah, uh, They want us to pay. It'll be 1k we'll save. I guess he's got one year left. Shall I accept it and then offer him out again? He wants to go to Ibiza. Fair play to him. I'll accept it because it does get him out of the club. He's 35. I'll offer him out for 5k. And then maybe we won't have to do the wage contribution then. Now nah, we can't, Mom. Still can't ask for a coaching course. No. We've, we've asked for three. They've said no to three. Ibiza would be a good club for you. It would be. If we were going to move somewhere, Ibiza would be a fun one, wouldn't it? Um, 
I don't think we're going to yet though. The end of the season, if we had an, if we've had enough, resign. I don't know if I want to resign and leave us like without a job. We might as well try and get a job whilst we've got a job. Okay, new contract for Mustakopoulos. Ortiz is a coach is coming in. That's actually good. He's really good to keep. Very good player. Only 25 as well. Good new signing that one. Well, new contract to that one. Mayhas has also signed his new deal. We're cooking. As long as the, if one of these two say yes to us, I'll be really happy. Be good. However, you will run into Wayne Lineker. True. That's never a good thing, is it? <laughs> never a good thing. Okay. Come on. Preseason starts now. Did I put... I need to put more... Uh, I didn't put the friendlies in, did I? Any cams or lefties before they go? Yeah, I suppose we should look before they leave. We also need that... We don't need the striker. We just need the right winger, really. Can Lumeka play on the other side? He probably could. Um... Those are the two positions there. It's just the one winger we need, isn't it? Check the... Oh, yeah. Check the... Paolo's nationality. If it's still 10 days, we need to let him go. Yeah, it's still 10 days. We need to let him go. Sorry, Jao. Come back when you're Portuguese. Yeah, well done, Ab. <laughs> Lemeca would suit inverted winger. Yeah, he would. What, here on this side, even? Yeah, he would. I just want these two to come in. Um, let's look. DOF. You think look for a left? Free transfer left winger. Pedroso? Are you half Italian or something? No. He's a non-EU. He looks quite good, to be fair. He's going back to Vale Verde. Uh, hello, son. He looks quite good, doesn't he? Is he better than the, those other ones? Maybe. He's 31. Because he could come in and just play right wing for us. We kind of need a right winger rather than anything else. But he is good. Let's look at the other ones. Boljevic. Montenegro, which means he's going to be EU, right? He's not as good. Pedroz was awful for your Larissa site, was he? That's a nice insight. Uh, see Andre Clovis. He's not going to be interested though, is he? Alex Blanco sounds Spanish. Okay, not, re not really got a neck, but that's okay. Can play both sides, which is useful. Montenegro isn't. Ah, uh, is it not? Yeah, maybe not. I guess we could trial them and see because it'll tell us then, won't it? We might as well bring them on, in on a trial. There's no harm. Can I not click this? All right. Wouldn't let me do all of them, so we'll do it individually. That's fine. Montenegro's not. There we go then. Uh, I think the 10 days refers to him having to play 10 days in Portugal. You could sign him and loan him out to Portugal for six months. Yeah, I did wonder that because it said he needs to return to Moldova. So... We'll see if he gets them now. He might just need to be in Portugal, which isn't going to happen, is it? The Spanish lab be good, do you think? I'm just going to look at... Um, I'll look at the different roles, see if anyone else comes up. I wasn't... I liked Pedroza most, I think, out of those. Great attributes, but no neck. Not for me. Exactly. Exactly. Let's look at inside forward. We get Mons Basuamina. Paso Amina, not as good, is he? From the Congo. Is half French, so would be okay. He's a bit rub. A bit rubbish. Um, any cams who can play wing too? We can definitely have a look. Free transfer cams. Uh, Osman. Oh, no, sorry. It's Mohamed Osman. Not quite the same. He's not very good either. Striker AF could suit. Yeah, that's true. We could look at those. Lebahang Mabo. South Africans. Um, very quick. Could play on the right-hand side. Reese be all over him. Oh, really? Poundland. Exactly, Poundland. Uh, Mabo. And finally, Vincent Pula. Pace. Yeah, he did have really good pace, didn't he? Um, Osman from Wish.com. Exactly. Who was the pacey guy? Mabo. He's got eight decisions, seven concentration, though. And he's 29. He's all right, isn't he? I'm not like... What do you mean by no neck? He doesn't have a neck. Like, he's just head, head body. No neck. <laughs> I'm going to look on the right again, because... If we do winger, they'll be right-footed and they can play on the left, maybe. Same guys coming up. All right. Let's look at... 
uh, inside forwards on the left. Gory. A, round, a natural roundoiter from France called Alamami Gory. He looks fun. Any strikers who can play wing, wing, we'll have a look. I just don't know if any of these are like jumping out as the best ones. He's he's EU, which helps. He looks pretty good. He's at Paris FG, uh, F, FG, Paris FC. That's a unicorn right there. You don't find many natural roundoiters. Can play on both sides. Could play striker too. You've not found this one. Sorry? You've not found the one. No, I haven't found the one. Exactly. You need options. Could be cheaper. He could be cheaper. 27. I like the fact he's a round as well. Is Abel Ru Ruiz any good in FM? Yeah, he's pretty good, I think. I'm going to get you on, in on trial. I think so far, the one I like the most is the face tattoos guy. Because he's got face tattoos. Get him for a little bit of Thomas Muller fun. Exactly, right? Right. Striker. Advance forward. Free transfer. Same Zarati is new. Tobias Zarati. Can't play wide. Who's he wanted by? Oh, some Greek teams. He's just fully Argentinian though, which is weird. Not the Zarati. Oh. Start with an M. Mauro. Mauro Zarati, right? He was great fun when he was in in the Prem, wasn't he? Great fun. Scored free kicks for fun. Um. Let me just check loans. We haven't even thought about loans yet. Amadou Diallo from Newcastle. That's fun. Olivio Tome, Portugal. He actually will be really good. Not quite yet, but he will be. Check pressing forwards. Okay. Loves the Rossi underrated baller. He was, wasn't he? Is he any relation to... Uh, we can check. Uh, he's related to Luca Zarati. Who's related to Ariel Zarati? Who I don't know. Are they are any of these Zaratis related to Mauro? <laughs> uh, rather than AF, more likely to wing. Okay, Lucho Vega. Lucho Vega. Like again, I'll say it again for the fifteenth time. Saying names doesn't particularly help because they're unlikely to be on a free transfer, and we have to only sign frees. Look, he plays for a club. He's great. I can't. Well, I can't sign him. So there's no point suggesting people. Second Cousins, perhaps? Perhaps. Tobias Cerati is a cheat code, do you think? He probably actually would score a lot of goals for us with the 14 finishing and stuff. He probably would score lots of goals. Um, I don't know if he's the one, though. I want to play Mello up front, I think. Jimmy should sign Nia Kirby. And now that I can get on board with. Uh, let me look at right wing loans. Okay. A Brazilian on loan who's 17. Who looks amazing. Would be non-EU. Did loans count as non-EU? I'm about him. He's 17 years old. Imagine how much he's going to improve. Ryan. A lot. He'll be so cheap as well. He's only on £140 per week. We should get him anyway, shouldn't I? Let's see what they'd actually want. Can I say about loaning here? He would be interested in a loan move instead. They would require nothing. It won't go through until August. That's fine. We're only allowed eight non-EU players. We've got eight, four registered. This, with that, we have, like, he's very late signing, isn't he? I like the look of him. 17 years old as well. Get him in our team. Develop him. Maybe then later on down the line, sign him for the next club we go to. Invest in the in the future of Rayan. But will he play him as a winger? Yeah. Well, we need a right winger. He can literally just play on this right winger, right? Now nah, we, we've got he's an inside forward in our or an inverted winger here. Look. Oh, do they want him to be a winger? Did I promise winger? We could do winger on the right, but as a lefty is better. Uh, yeah, so maybe we can do in the role winger. I don't mind changing it. I think it'll probably work fine, right? We'll use him there if we get him. I quite like it. I just want to look now. Pressing forward, free transfer. He's he's also free. Yeah, invest in your Rayan stocks now, please. Um, Puchel is the one that come up. That's come up. Wide target forward, six foot two striker with six finishing. I'm all right. I think I'm okay. I'm going to get Rayan. Become a favourite person and bring him along the club for the next few clubs. Exactly. Right, they've accepted it. 
Blanco's coming in. No neck man. Uh, Bojovic. Alamami Gori. Didn't hate him. Fabrizio Pedroso's coming in too. Uh, I'm an hour late. I expect to be fully caught up in great detail on what I've missed. Signing players. <gasps> I don't know if I can do this. We can get Barry. How are we able... How are we able to adjust for 10k worth of money to take it down 200 pounds per week? We're getting Barre. This is a huge signing. We don't get that. We don't get the soup, man. We don't get soupy, but we do get Barre. We'll adjust the budget. We'll bring him in. I hope this means that we can still sign other people. But that's good. No soup, but it's okay. Soup's gone. To, it's on 6k. We were never going to get soup, man. Like, what a signing he would have been, by the way. What a signing. Don't ask, just do. Yeah, I don't know how that's worked, but it's fine. It's great. Maths. Do you need a replacement soup? We do now need a replacement soup. It might need to be a loan because I've got a very strong feeling that that might disappear quite quickly. Yeah, okay, we've got 3k left. Barry, though. Yeah. I like it. Get him training as that ball player. He can come in. Send him. Doesn't... He's not non-EU. He's EU. It's probably the better way to say that. Half the budget has gone on one individual. Well, I mean, when the budget's so low, then yeah. Is it pronounced Barry? I think it is. Yeah, no soup at the car park, unfortunately. How are you doing, Swedish Beard? Hope you're good. Welcome, welcome, though. Give him a squad number. What number do you want, Barry? Four. He'll pass the ball. Come as you like. He's Johan Barry. He's Virgil van Dyke. He's basically our Virgil van Dyke. Welcome in, Johan. It's fine because Barry comes in for nothing. Exactly. This team is going to ball. I'm telling you. We might need a new left back. Lazar's not great, is he? He's Barry from EastEnders. Yeah. Okay. Who comes in? We need a centre mid. We also then need, like, subs. Uh, I think it's Barre. You'd have an accent over the E to make it more like Beret, the silly hat thing, yeah. Lazar can do a shift, yeah. Lazar will do a shift. We just don't really have backups is maybe going to be the issue. But I think a few loans in here and we'll be okay. Also, how about that Lewis Miley? What a baller. What a baller for 17. Fair play. Annoying. <laughs> French people always highlight their words in the last syllable, so it's Barre. Now, I, I'm going to go for the very French pronunciation of Barre. Okay. And that's a, that's a personal okay. choice, okay? Creative license as the streamer. Barry. <laughs> Barry to be unveiled. Baza. Uh, I'll in fact... I can't. Uh, start the press conference. I will also just say... Welcome. Welcome. Imagine actually coming out and shouting this. Barry. Like that. I come from Manchester. Barry. Welcome, Barry. I hope that makes it into the press conference notes. <laughs> free loans of the future spam the DOF. Yeah, you're probably right. Let's see if we can find a centre mid free loan then. Like a Brazilian wonder kid for there. Loan, centre mid, any role. Ruan Gabriel, a lot of Brazilians. This guy's... Okay, I like the idea of a Benfica youngster. Have we had a Thiago Freitas before? Do you reckon this guy comes into our midfield and scores got and does stuff? He's on 1300 a week, so we might actually have to pay for him. I've heard of Freitas. Me, me too. Me too. Is it him, though? Because he's 17. Or did I have one? He was good in FM20, was he? There may be then, yeah. Thank God it's Freitas. Did I have a Thiago Freitas in the Almeria save or something? A lot of Brazilians, literally one Brazilian. Yeah, true. I meant adding them to the other ones. Barry has a mixtape. Wait, what? Johan Barry has a mixtape. When you say a mixtape, do you mean a uh, a highlights package? Because if it's a mixtape, I thought he'd been in the recording studio. What an odd polygon. Yeah, kind of like an arrow to the right. Wasn't Tiago? He was a new gen. Yeah, no, I know. But was he called Freitas, right? Was it Tiago Freitas? Uh, and does stuff is a low bar to success. It is Icy Primate, yeah. Do we like this guy, though? He was called that. Yeah, I thought so. Check his info page. Yeah, no brothers. DJ Barre. <laughs> Do we like him? I'll see if he's free, actually. No, he's 1,300. It's quite a lot. Whereas, 
These might be half English or something. He looks English. He's fully Argentinian. He's not that good either. Ruan Gabriel. Brazilian baller, 18-year-olds. Six strength. I'm not sure I want a player that is weaker than me in our midfield. Would probably be free, though. Not English, can't, can confirm, yeah. Yeah, can't attack, can't defend according to the polygon. Yeah, that's kind of true. Uh, He doesn't look amazing, does he? Compare him to Soup, and I don't think we've got... He's not as good. He's okay, though. Corner taker. Is a corner taker, yeah, true. And would be free. Do I sign him anyway? I wonder... It's... I have to only register eight non use though, right? Should be the test. Can he win an arm wrestle against the manager? That is the test, yeah. If no, no sign. I don't know if I love it. Let me look for a box-to-box -box on here. Alright, this guy's got a nice, easy name to pronounce. Oliver. Uh, Ricardo Colladal, Italian. He looks like a young Perlo-ish. Shortlist. Uh, yeah, we could shortlist him. Uh, who was it? Ruan Gabriel. Yeah. Uh, Colladal looks quite fun. Finishing and dribbling, not great, but passing's okay. Technique's good. He's quite well-rounded, isn't he? I like the Italian man. He's also Italian. He might be expensive, is the problem. Yeah, he's 2.4k a week. Again, he might need to be a... I don't know. Is this guy cheaper? 1,200. Darius Stalmak. Polish. Yeah, I don't love him. A lot of, like, the... Don't love him as much. I like the Italian guy. Chat, I'm actually... I, it, Ricky looks good, doesn't he? I, I'm desperate for a wee. I've, all of a sudden, it's all just... It's just. I just need a wee. I'll be back in a second. Um, Decide whether Collardale should be signed for 2.4k a week. I'll leave you with that task, okay? Um, I'm going to have to go... Actually, I need to go to this, don't I? Uh, I'll see you in a second. Um, uh, Desperate I am. Right, sorry. In a minute. This song is a banger. This song is a banger, isn't it? What a song. What a throwback. Matilda. Oh, what's the other one that's in? Uh, Ice Age, right? Hello. I've really gone quite quickly up those stairs, that, that ladder there. What did we suggest? Um, smash out the loan offers, paying wages, and go over 
get all the positions. And if you do it all at once, you'll just be 10k over wages with a good squad. That's actually not a bad idea. Whew. When you're being sent on your way, I'm actually, I went way too quick up that ladder. Um, what do we think? It got a real revival in Ice Age. Yeah, that was it, wasn't it? Shall we? Do we like the Italian? The Italian Ricky? Regular starter. Don't need to set which. They want us to buy him for 210k, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to offer it. I'm going to offer it and we'll see, won't we? It's a yes for Ricardo. Looks like Zlatan. Mm, okay. Two pluses for me, those. <laughs> um, what other mm. position? I'm in the loft. Uh, uh, Iziek, if you can, like, tell. That's why. Do it all now. I know what you mean. And then just go over the wages, right? Probably get sacked for it. Should work. Might not, but should. Who else, then? What other positions do we need to look for for a loan? And how many loans are we allowed? It didn't say anything about not doing too many, did it? Anywhere. So we've got the... He'll be the centre back, centre mid. We'll get the Brazilian lad for right wing. Do we need a backup striker on a loan? Usually we do, don't we? Adorno. Is that... That's Paraguay. Five foot nine. Are you half anything? No. Delebasic, six foot one, doesn't look amazing. How cheap are they actually? They're really cheap. Dusan Jovanovic needs... I need to put a picture in for him. But yeah, I don't really love him either though. They look okay. This is a German... Uh, a journeyman. Do we care about finances? Yeah, that's kind of true. Uh, bro has his DOF locked in his basement. Absolutely. This DOF, we're putting him through the work. You got to make him work. <laughs> As a backup be okay. Yeah, I just wonder if there's one that's a little bit more suited to what we want. Ben House from Lincoln. Angal Rodado from Spain. Would be a bit more... He'd be expensive, actually, wouldn't he? Who's he wanted by? Decent teams there. Um, yeah, any of these is like a backup might work. Dusan Jovanovic. I just... He's all right. I feel like we found better ones earlier. Let me look for an advance forward loan. Dustin Aguirre from Uruguay. Six foot one. He'd be a good one because he's 19. I quite like the idea of the loans being young because then they'll be cheap. Is he half? Half American. Doesn't help. Does not help. My phone just started floating off. You said his name then. Very good. That's very good. <laughs> I like him, but no. As long as you can offer the wages, you're safe. You need EU, ideally. Yeah, we do, don't we? Um, What other ones did I not look for on here? Any loan complete forwards? Doubted it. No. Any target forwards? These aren't going to be EU, are they? You're on... Oh, he'd be so cheap as well. Please be half Italian. Six foot four, half Italian. No, he'd be good. Six foot four, look, with all right attributes. Only 22 on £55 a month. He's a, he's a solid backup then, Valentin Adamo. He's just fully Uruguayan though, which is annoying. Hmm. Hmm. I mean... Do we already... We don't actually have eight, no. The Serbian one's decent. Who was the Serbian one? Jovanovic. Yeah, he's all right. Eight stamina. He's decent. He's got a lot of like sevens and nines and things though. Six bravery. I don't know if he is decent. He's He costs nothing though. So I, I, we might as well get him, I suppose. He, he literally be, would be free. Yeah, we could. We do have one spot that we can use. I need backup centre backs as well, don't I? I don't know how many loans we're allowed, but I do need to look for backup centre backs. Henry, be half something. He's he's left footed as well, actually. He's not half European. Right, a Polish guy, six foot three, looks okay. Uh, hi, Clates. Have I hope you have an amazing stream. You amazing person. Thank you, Aussie. Very kind. Don't know why I'm checking him. He's Polish anyway. He's all right. Realistic, how many games do you need a backup to play? Uh, fairly often, actually. We've got quite a lot of... In um, do you remember how many injuries we got last year? So actually quite a lot. Oscar Wojcik? Wo 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 Wojcik? He's a body. He is a body. A little blonde body. Um, fully Argentinian. He be he he's like he's free. 
completely free, so we might as well bring him in. Important put I uh, put important player though, so they might not they might get recalled is the problem that we're looking at here, isn't it? Do I get was anyone oh, cheap on here? Okay. We're gonna have some left over, I think though. Hey Clates, hope you have an above average stream. You're an above average person. We'll take it, Jonas. Thank you, buddy. Izzy Ek, thank you for the primer, buddy. Hope you're good. Same for free transfers. You can go over wages if no signing fee. True. True. Right, let me clear these. And shall I, s I think we're just going to continue. I know what you mean doing it at once, but I kind of, I, I don't want to, I don't want to get to a point where I don't know the players we're signing. I think that kills a save when you're like, I've just signed loads of people, but I don't know who they are. We've also got a little bit of extra coming in with Javi Matia going out now, which is useful. He leaves, gives us now 5.6 in there and 6k, which helps with this too. I might as well, oh, I can't. I was going to say I might as well put also scouting budget. I've got us still on. Okay, we're down to, we're down to Southeastern Europe. Can I put, oh, it's only 12k. I can put it into, I can't, I can't move it anyway. Should I move this off now? Um... If I get rid of the scouting range, does our DOF still come up with the players or not? If you get a coaching course but leave halfway through, do the club still finance it? I don't know. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Yeah, I've never seen a, a message either that says it's being cancelled. So I guess they do. I guess you just pay for it at the start, maybe. That's lovely, Ollie. Thank you for the lovely message. Appreciate it. <laughs> they do. Can confirm. Oh, they do cancel it. Harsh. Harsh. I didn't do the. I didn't do the. Um, is that the Kennedy from Chelsea? That is the kind of the Kennedy from Chelsea. He might be going to. Pauk. These other teams are going to be really good compared to us, aren't they? Oh no, they don't. They keep it. Okay, all good. If you want one of the trial ones on trial, do it now though. Yeah, true. So let's just look at the squad. We need. We can only have eight non EUs. In fact, should I go to uh, registration? We've got space for some non-EUs. Right now, we've got four with no more signing, right? Rayan signing is one. So we'll get, we've got space for three. Politis, if he is free, if he is broken. Learn a Brazilian wonder kid, kind of. Um... Yesterday, you were very pessimistic. Things look quite okay now. Yeah, it's definitely improved, hasn't it? Keeping a few of those that we're going to leave are pretty good. Get the Uruguay striker and a Colombian. We can definitely get a couple of them. Who jumps out of these? Who do we really like? I quite liked Rafael Bilu because of the face tattoos, and I think he's unbelievable anyway. Can play both sides. And we need a left back as well. Yeah, we do. I like Bilu because he looks terrifying. What do we reckon? He does look like a baller. Should I see how much he wants? Star player, stepping stone. He might want a fair old whack in wages. Okay, we might not get Billu. He wants too much. I, I can't. That's all of our money, isn't it? You like Edouard Lopez? He does look good, Jonas. Yeah. Should I, should I walk away from Billu? Don't offer the... I, I, well, I don't think I can afford him then. Like, I can only offer 3.7. I can't. He won't accept that. Look, I can't. Now, nah, do it. I can't. I can't do it. I can give him naught on here. Give him more of that. I can make that lower, actually. Give him the appearance fee. But even that, look, I think he just says no to this, doesn't he? Yeah, no, nah, this isn't happening. He wants 5k without the signing on fees. Yearly wage rise. Can't even do that because it's a one, two year deal. Goal and assist bonus. I, is he worth doing all of this? This is all of our money. And there are definitely comparable ones that might be cheaper. Right. I've maxed it out. So if he says no to this, this is basically max anyway, right? Can I do future wage? I don't think so. Uruguay strike is probably just as good, exactly. Yeah, he said no. I thought he would. Um, so no Billu. 
And I just don't want to see him anymore. Can I just cancel his trial? Terminate trial. Get out of here. Don't want to see you. We tried, exactly. I tried everything on him there, didn't I? So, um, we've got John Vasquez or who was the other winger here? Was it Eduardo Lopez? Yeah. Eduardo Lopez could be a good winger too. What does he want? He'd be a foreign player. Who was the striker? Can I go to here? The striker was... I liked I liked him, didn't I? Ruri Blanco. You're a Lopez fan. Yeah, I think a lot of people seem to like Lopez. I liked the... I liked Blanco. Just seems well-rounded. Can only play striker, though. Doesn't like big... Is it him who didn't like the big matches? No, he... Yeah, he doesn't even like the big matches. I don't think I want Manu Justo. <clears throat> Pedroza is 31. Uruguay on loan and maybe Vasquez or No Neck. The No Neck Spaniard. Yeah, it would be he's quite good, No Neck. <laughs> well, technically your prediction is on. What was your prediction? His first name is how Scooby Doo would say loyally. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Yeah. How long do you usually stay at clubs? Uh, well, this is the first time we don't have journeyman, to be honest. So it's going to be about two seasons, I'm going to guess. Just going to go back just in case there's anyone else that he comes up with for striker. Now that we're thinking outside the box, free transfer striker. This guy wasn't on there before. And he's EU. Pietro, is that Lamello or Yamello? Remember Vincenzo Yakinta? That's a throwback. I used to always sign him. He looks pretty good. Very well-rounded. Great finishing. Not quick, but I think he still scores. Oh, she scored a Shiali. Nice. He's definitely worth a trial, isn't he? I'll just do a one week just so we can see him. Okay, he looks quite good. Yamelo. Good goal return, was it? Okay, that's also... It is helpful to see that they actually score goals. Rory Blanco comes up. What We play it an advanced forward, don't we? He's most suited to advance forward. The guy we've already got. Is he better than that guy? He's quicker. Otherwise, he's not better. And if he's getting like four and a half star coach report, imagine what Yamelo's going to be. Hmm. Okay. Um, I haven't actually looked for a left back. I just want to see if there is a left back. Maybe a loan. 22-year-old, 18-year-old. Who's cheapest? You'd be cheapest. Should I bring this Polish child in? Okay. On a loan. All right. You can be an important player. I'm not going to play him. I'm not going to. Um, can we sign Gaia Sulin? What a throwback that is. Is he still on? Is he still playing football? No. New Messi, wasn't he? New Messi. Gail Kakuta probably is still playing, yeah. All right. Let's see if, uh, I still need to do friendlies every time. Yes, we're getting Rayan in. Good. We've had the loan bid for that left back accepted. Yamelo's come in. No, he hasn't. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, do, do you know what? We were never going to get him. He's just gone to Venezia for 10k a, a week. It was a pipe dream anyway, it, it seems. Shall I get shall I get the um the Colombian striker? Welcome Rayan though. Excited about this one. Shall I get the, the Colombian? Ruari Blanco. It means that we can then play Melo wide. This team's gotten so interesting. It has, hasn't it? This is where you make it your own team. Like when you can do more transfers, it becomes your team, and then the save's more interesting. It's just better, isn't it? He went to Venezia over Venezia V2. He did. He loves a kit though, doesn't he? How much does he want? I haven't even checked. If he wants way too much, we're not going to get him anyway. Ah, right, do you know what? Rayan could follow you. That's the idea in the Stout Show, yeah. He wants 4k a... Ah, oh, this is going to be rough. 4k a week. We might be able to do it, but it is all of our money. And he's non-EU. Doesn't like big matches. I don't know, you know. I need to get rid of this as well, don't I? And they want a lot of money. Follow me. Okay. 
Okay, we're not... We could work with this. Yeah, I got it. I got it on naught. We could work with this. Just going to give you a lot of money, my friend. 4.7k. Ah, uh, this is not going to happen, is it? Salon fee percentage, though, could be one. That's not a bad idea. If you get, You'll get half the money when we sell you because we're signing you on a free. Minimum fee of one mil as well. No sign, not worth it. I think he might say no anyway. So we're going to try. I think he might reject it anyway. If you avoid relegation, you get more. You prefer Zerati. I'd like Zerati. Oh, he said yes. Ah, oh, now I have to actually think about it. Okay. Um, What's the parking situation like at Venezia? Who knows? It won't be as good as ours though, will it? Definitely not. Don't do it. Right. Temperature check, chat. Quickly. Yes or no? For uh, Ruari Blanco. Right, Liverpool Sports, you said buy Ronaldo twice. I'm just going to say this. It wasn't funny the first time. Um, Give it up. <laughs> yes or no for Ruri Blanco. And I know what's going to happen. Everyone's going to say buy Ronaldo now, aren't they? Because that's usually what happens here. No, no. No parallel parking, your gondola. Great. No. Okay. Let's cancel this one. People aren't... We're not vibing with it. Chat says yes. Non-EU for absolute standouts. Yeah, save it. A bit expensive, Zerati bangs. He is called Zerati. I think it was his um hair that put me off. <laughs> Zerati probably would bang goals though. And he's called Zerati, which is quite fun, isn't it? No man, save it for later. Byron, no. Good Pontus, thanks. Who's he wanted by? Greek teams. Training right wing too. Yeah, could do. He's left footed. All right. Follow me. Okay. He's a bit cheaper. Still expensive. Temperature check on Zerati. Yes or no? 4.5k. He's doable. We need to make this zero, though. He's going to make that go up slightly. We're going to have to do relegation release clause right down. Unused sub up. Scout him first. I could trial him first. Should I trial him before we do this? Zarati uh, is younger too, so she could actually sign him. Yeah. Zarati's a baller. Still expensive, but interesting. I think interesting is an important thing. If, like, you have to, like, you have to be, like, don't mud the contract. Scout after. Yeah, true. I, I now have to offer him this, don't I? Because otherwise he won't want to join at all. Don't know his hiddens could be horrendously inconsistent. If I offer this now and then trial, we might find out. We should have trialed with him, I know that. But now if I go back, I'm not gonna be able to sign him anyway. He did get recommended. I reckon he'll be good. But yeah, we should have done that. Um Rayan is in though. Love this as an idea. When oh he doesn't join until August, does he? He'll be in soon. You can only scout after offering. Just scout and delay. Yeah, we can scout and delay, can't we? That's true. Um, where is he? Hide these inactive ones. Get a... Let's just get, like, the one weak one. And see from there. Yeah, if he's got horrible hiddens, then we probably should avoid it. But who knows? We'll take a risk. We'll have a... Where do we need players now then? We've got the left back joining. It's still very early in the in the window, actually, isn't it? We've done all of our business on like the 6th of July. Friendlies! Every single time! Friendlies! I don't do them. Uh, let's do multiple at once. We need these friendlies to give us money. Uh, we'll go for a friendly whilst we're on our training camp. When do we start the league? Here. So let's do let's do plenty. Um, large reputation. Any big teams? We could play Pauk or Astromitos. Uh, larger teams, foreign. Goz Tepe. Not great, though, these. Let's do some nearby ones, because usually you get, yeah, 20k in from those, which is decent. Um, very small foreign. How much do you get from a Pauk friendly? Slightly less, actually. Might as well do the near... Oh, there's only one nearby one. That'll be why. Um, if these play... Is there a... Hamburg's quite a lot of money. Will they do it? It's really, you don't get any money. 
really pointless. Let's do Aris. Any okay, there we go. More nearby teams can do it here. Uh, the most cheapest one on here to get a big win in the bank. We get 9k from it. Any other nearby ones? What's the most expensive nearby one? 40k here. We get 40k from it. That's decent. We'll take it. Right, four friendlies in. Should I do four more? I do like to do loads because of the money. Let's do one there, one there, and then leave this week free. Uh, that's nearly 20k. We'll take it. 80k net profit. Yeah, you take it, don't you? It's got to be done. In the small foreign clubs, a Canadian team from Montreal got recommended. That would be a nice warm holiday. Yeah, I'm sure they'd fancy it. I'm sure they'd fancy it, wouldn't they? Zebra's B team is in there as well. Uh, very small rep. Wow. You get like 36k from that one. We'll take it. All right. Hopefully they all say yes, they do. We'll take the money and run. I mean, considering the fact that we have got 300k in the bank and we're getting like 100k there from friendlies, you've got to do it, haven't you? And also it means that your cohesion's loving it and stuff. Like your tactics, if you put new ones in, all, all become um, familiar. It's just, it's just silly not to do it. All right. Oh, I actually kept them from last year. I love this change. Every year having to change this was so annoying. Uh, what's the money like for the league? Not very good. Uh, right. Auto select that. We've got 30 players. Oh, we've got all the trialists playing in these as well, which is good. <clears throat> yeah. Get the money in to spend it all on burger vans. Exactly. That was very cold. Um, Collardale. Okay. Is this going to mud us? For wages, because it's going to be 2.4k, we might be okay, but we're going to get our Perlo in. I'm happy about it. Let's just do it. Did I scout him? Mm, he might be rubbish. I should have delayed that as well. Perlo's in. It's a loan, so we can always... Yeah, it'll be all right. You offered just going to go over. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine, isn't it? Uh, squad player, apparently, though, could still improve decent League One level. We'll get Lazar to welcome him. He is non... He's not foreign, which is good. What target did I set him? What target did he get set? Uh, achieve an average match rating of 6.6. .6. Did I set that for him? <laughs> Don't remember doing that. 6.6, .6, quite low. Like, surely you should be getting that anyway. Maybe his manager set that? It's probably their team. His parent club set it when he came here, right? Yeah. Um, what number should we give Ricardo Collidal? Number... I don't want to give him seven or eight yet. Although, Mustacopoulos has got six. So he will be maybe on number eight. He's going to be our starting midfielder, right? He'll be up there. He comes in at the moment. He, he, we pop him in there, don't we? I like this team. I think it's a really fun team. Get this right winger in. All that, or if we get Zarati in, Melo goes there. Or Rayan goes there. You bring Zarati in. We've then got a bench. It's not a big bench. But there is a bench. We've got... We need a backup keeper. We don't have a single backup keeper. Do we have one in the reserves? Because I just use him. Right. A 16-year-old is our backup keeper. Possibly. Yeah. What season are you in? This is season number two. We've just won a friendly 2-0. Love that. If you go to 4 triple 2 the Brazilian can play on the wing. Yeah, true, actually. Need to change that. Oh, yeah, we need to change the um where we are in the league. Did you start Athens, Calathea, or unemployed? We started here. I wanted to get straight into it, so we started here. Hence the um not now being able to get a coaching badge because we don't have one. Oh, a loan bid. I mean, it pays his wages, but he's on cheap wages anyway. We, we probably just need him as a backup, so I'm going to say no. Collardale can be uh, announced. Well, uh, we need to do the, the classic. It's what we usually do. Welcome, Ricky. Welcome, Ricky. There we go. Does that actually say it in the press conferences thing? Like, <laughs> if you actually just read that, how ridiculous it is. It's so silly, isn't it? It says... Uh, 
Should we expect Calafair to sign Ricardo Colladal on a permanent deal as this loan comes with an option to do just that? Answer, I've been a fan of his and if it suits everyone, I'd love to make it permanent. Clates added, welcome Ricky! <laughs> Actually imagine a manager doing that and adding that at the end. <laughs> It'd be w so weird. It'd just no comment the rest of it, it's the headline. It, does that work? Yeah, maybe. Right, new uh, left back backup for free. Any ballers, if got non-EU slots in the Prem uh, youth, as could be free, also parent club. Ooh, we haven't got an, a, a parent club. Maybe we should ask for one. Uh, broken finger in training for your starting keeper the second that the transfer window closes. Could be a case. Yeah, we'll see if we can bring in somebody for that. Maybe a free loan as a backup keeper could be good. Do we have, is there a maximum number of loans on the registration? Maybe should check that. Doesn't say it. It can register 99 people and it doesn't say anything about loans. So that's pretty useful, isn't it? Surely it would be if it's the only thing you said. Yeah, maybe. We can try it, can't we? Uh, Blanco could have been... Uh, Blanco could have been renamed Bianca. Could have done. That would have been good. Again, nice recent reference there from you. Who's this? What am I doing? Oh, how happy... Welcome, Oscar. How much time are we wasting writing in all caps? Welcome, Oscar. Like that, look. And then if I no comment it, can I even no comment it? No comment, no comment, no comment, no comment, no comment. Will it come up as the thing now? <laughs> Check rules for players counting as EU. Um, yeah, that was on there. We know it's eight, isn't it? Page. <laughs> oh, silly. It's really silly, isn't it? <laughs> Clay's replied, I'm not prepared to answer that question. Welcome, Oscar! <laughs> oh, dear me. He's now livid because I've gone to a press conference and I've not said anything to him the whole time. <laughs> I never know what to say when work asks me how I spent my weekend. This is why. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Same, really. Same. <laughs> That's tickled me. Welcome, Oscar! Cagey press conference, apparently. All right, the, who's that? Oh, was, wasn't Oscar the cent left? Am I signing another left back? Oh, he's a centre back. I didn't even know where he played where we signed him there. We've got the left back coming in as well. That's useful. How do I join the Discord? Exclamation mark Discord. Walks in, screams, welcome Oscar, and sits in silence for 20 minutes. Exactly that. That's what happened. Um, who's the two o'clock games today? Who are the games today? Might. Arsenal, Brighton, Brentford, Villa, West Ham, Wolves. Nice. Wolves are. Which one's on TV? I'm all for realism, but press conference is so boring. Questions always the same. Yeah, they're not great, are they? They're not They're not amazing. Right, welcome to this guy. What's his name? How am I going to say his name? JK! I reckon. Um, Doesn't need a squad number just yet, does he? Do you know, I'm not, oh, this is all right. This squad is getting bigger and bigger. Look, pop, pop these guys onto the bench. Who's still to sign? Zarati and then this low knee. Back up, two strikers coming in. Wolves are on TV, are they? Nice. Um, Looking forward to... Right, right. Let's actually go through it, I suppose. Where do we need other backups then? Let's actually go through. Keeper, we need a backup. Tobe. Do the players even care what you say in press conferences? I don't know. Did Who was it that I... Oscar, right? How did he react to it? Yeah, he was fine. He didn't. He didn't react to my press conference in any way, so I guess not. He was fine. We need a keeper, definitely. Right back. We've got Mayhas and Vice, both starters, but can both play right back. Yeah, the journos do get annoyed, don't they? Where are you getting your faces from if there's one missing in the database? Usually just Google him and then make it myself. Okay. Have you watched a full, a real full press conference? I think they nailed it, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, other right backs, though. Man we do have Manthesis. Oh, I don't know why I've done that. I wanted to make the that bigger. We do have Manthesis who can play right back. So we're okay for right backs, I think. I think we just need two of each position and then we'll deal with it from there, won't we? Left back, Lazar and Luigi. 
And that is it. Maybe a little bit light. Why has it gone weird again? I don't know. It's gone weird again. Like where's... Like why is that? Like, look at that. Why are you like this? That's a bit better. What's happened there? I can just go... It's a, I say it's a bit better. It's not really, is it? Eight it. Um, do I need one more left back? Like a centre back that can play left back? How many centre backs have I got? I've got Mayhas Barre. Neither can play left side, by the way. Both prefer to be on the right. I don't think it's the end of the world. Oh, no, he doesn't have a side preference. We'll go with that then. Need a Joe Gomez. We do, don't we? We've got the terrifying guy. We've got the this guy. Two terrifying guys as backups. Both pretty rubbish. And then this guy, who's a little bit better, but also pretty rubbish. But that's five centre-backs. I think we're okay there, aren't we? It'd be nice if any of them could play on the right or left, but I don't think they can. Centre-mids. The terrifying guy. Yeah, that's him. Centre mid, we have got Moustakopoulos and Collardal. Demetrius can play there. Demetrius can play centre mid, which is useful. So that's three. And then we are light. Uh, Manos is mate. Who's not very good. And then no other centre mids. We need to sign another centre mid backup, don't we? Oh, Joe Gomez would be brilliant. Uh, Joe Gomez was great off the bench against uh, Palace. I'll have you know. Came on at right back was brilliant. He has weird, weird spells of being really good at football. Then spells of being like, I don't know if he's got a brain. But I like Joe Gomez. In attack, number 10, we have got Vasily Janis, Demetrius. And then I think there's probably enough that could play there too, right? Maybe another one might be useful. Yeah, I wonder if uh, what they're going to do today without um, with no McAllister who plays in the six. Home game as well. It will be interesting. Gomez at right back. Trent in the six could be fun, couldn't it? Um, I, it's probably Endo, though. It's probably the answer, isn't it? We'll see. Right winger. We've got uh, Rayan coming in. We've got M Mello who can play there. We've also got Vasilio Janis. We've also got Manthesis that can play there. Not the end of the world. Left wing, Lameka, Vasilia Janis, Wagner Love, can't really play that. Melo could play there. Yeah, and they struggled a bit. I think they did just like, they stuck, um, what's his face on there? Will Hughes, and he was just like in his face the whole time. And he didn't really cope with it. No, Bruno means it doesn't matter because whoever plays at 10 for United will be, yeah, possibly. Am I the one who sets the subs from uh, going from keepers forwards? No, no, no. I do that. It just, when you do a quick pick, it messes it back up again, which is why I kind of just like fall out of the habit of doing it. If possible, though, yeah, always. Much nicer to have it that way. Keeper, defenders, fullbacks, midfielders, strikers. Look, that's the way it should be. Um, Strikers, then we've got Mello. We've got Wagner Love. Then we've got the new guy coming in, Zarati. Can you offer the no-neck? Do you think no-neck would be useful for us? Alex Blanco. Can play both sides. What's his contract on? He's out of contract, is he? Oh, yeah. I was going to say what contract he's on. He'd be brilliant, I think, in value. Let's see what he'd want. If it's too much, then maybe not. It's really expensive. He looks hard. I just don't want to spend 4K on him. Like, I think he's good and there's value there, but 4K. We've got 2K. Can I put any of that in there? No. Oh, thank you. John Clayton 11 resubscribed X30. Please <laughs> like the YouTube stream so I might get a nice Christmas present. 30 months. Thanks, John. <laughs> That's my little brother there, everybody. He says, please like the YouTube stream so I might get a nice Christmas present. Um, He's right. He's completely right. <laughs> so go across and do that. You're going over so it doesn't matter. Will it actually go through though? Priorities. Yeah, exactly. Um, Will do, John. There you go. It worked. I don't know if I prefer this guy. Will he? Actually, what would he want? He wants even more. Eh. <clears throat> he doesn't get a present unless the stream gets 200 likes. Welp, I just unliked it. Unluggy. Oh, that is the banter. Oof. Oof. 
Uh, unlucky for you is that uh, like dislikes actually help the algorithm anyway. So it's all positive, really. Um, if this guy's super cheap, we could get the round deuter. What? You want 7.5k a week? What is wrong with you? Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, not him. I mean, all roads lead back to Alex Blanco then. Can Blanco take corners? 10. Not really. I don't think he was uh, EU, was he? Back to Malu Manu Justo. Actually looks better now we go back to him. Yes, he can. 10 is decent. Do you reckon? Who was the other one? Edouard and Vasquez was the other one, right? He's got 11. I'm just going to check if he's cheaper because if they're way cheaper, I, I think we've got the spots for the non-EUs. 4.2k. He's actually the cheapest Blanco. Mm. Just a quick check in case somebody else is now available. We've got those two. This guy's new. Colombian. 10 corners. Bayron Garces. I assume, no, he doesn't have thing, uh, a, a dual nationality. Look at the right-hand side. Costa Alexic could be a nice ad. I just, with, if they're free, I can buy them. If they're not, I can't. Eric Daniel or Francisco oh, Argentinian. I thought he was going to be Spanish there. Argentinian. <clears throat> Loan non use my thinking, get more Brazilians. That's why you should get Blanco. I mean, should I just see if there's a loan then? Instead of Blanco at all. And then I keep the wages. Is there a lone left winger? This guy's cheap from Spal. He's just not very good, is he? They're just not very good. How did we find that Brazilian? Oh, for Christ's sake. What have I just done there? I've added somebody as a transfer target. How do I get rid of that? Transfer target. Uh... Oh, this is just... Oh, Bayron. Can I remove that? There we go. Jesus. Don't sign him, please. Please don't sign him. Uh, loan center? Central ones? Do oh, you remember? An Argentinian. Ciro Armoa. You've accidentally signed Ronaldo. I guess we have, yep. <laughs> Try right mid, left mid. Actually, that's a good idea. We should... We haven't looked at those, have we? He's not better, is he? I quite, I do like the, yeah, use the non-EUs on the younger ones from like South America. He looks okay. He's not even a, what is he? Oh, he's a, a cam I was looking for, wasn't I? Let's look for left mid. You're like a left back left mid, aren't you? Little boy from Rosario. Uh, Sofianos could be free and maybe he can sell him in the future for like a million. <clears throat> he might be, I don't know. <clears throat> You're not 22. I'm not having that. Sorry. <laughs> no, he can't play there. Why are we saying... It's, chat, why are we suggesting people? Like, Ilyev. I'll look at him. What was his name? Nico Ilyev. So this guy. He plays for Inter Milan. Loan listed. Is he going to want to come to me? No. Under any circumstances. So why, like, why are we suggesting people? Like, three people have said low Nico Ilyev from Inter. I can't. And surely you know that. <laughs> if you want Greek shouts. Well, not really, because the thing is, they have to be on a free. So it's, if you know they're Greek shouts that are on a free in the second season, then maybe. Goran Pandev from Inter, please. Sure. Done. Uh, right wingers on loan. I don't think I've looked there again for a while. Okay, this guy... Gaston Vieira, right-footed, right, could so we can play on the left-hand side. It's just not very good, is he? Lone Mbappe. I can play for free. Welcome. This guy's cheap. It was pulling out worldies at the start, wasn't he, the DOF? Not anymore. They might have signed for people, I suppose. Did we ask for an affiliate? No. Let's see if we can. A senior affiliate. Right, they've said yes. We're getting a senior affiliate. 
Nice. That's a good idea. Blanca covers everywhere. Yeah, he kind of does. He kind of does. I'm being convinced as we speak. I can't speak. All right. Let's make a bid for him. Against my will. We might say no to this anyway. Star player. <laughs> he wants 6k. We can't get him anyway after all that. I, yeah, I literally can't get him. I'm not even going to bother. Just try begging for your coaching badge. Yeah, it didn't work. I tried that. It didn't work. I wish. Right, Levecki in search for the senior affiliate has started. Nice within the next month. Uh, you want like 7k a week, so you're not coming in. That's not happening. What we might do now... Um... Oh, God, I've got to do this again. Well, oh, where's my caps gone? Welcome, JK. <clears throat> Follow me. Okay. Uh, maybe the end of the trial, yeah. When he goes back into the wilderness on his own, he might join. We'll sign this guy on a free as a backup striker. Just an extra body that comes in. Still got two weeks, got loads in. Um, bit of continuing, I think so too. Let's try and continue a little bit. And JK. Jovanovic is in. What's his name? How am I going to do this? Deuce. Deuce. Jo Jov. Just. Jos. Jiz. Jos. Just not going to do it. I, I can't give him a nickname that works. How many, have we checked how many loans were allowed? It didn't seem to say anything. I need, I'll check the league rules again, actually. Does he? That, yeah, maybe that's it. Um, league rules. Doesn't say anything about loans. No more than five non-EUs, youth contracts, only players registered. And I can register as many players as I want. I did say that there, yeah, Magical. I did hear that as I said it. Um... You do get 12 match ban if you strike a match official, which is good. These are the nations treated as EU, even though they're not EU. So England is treated as EU in the game. I think we found that out before, didn't we? Ukraine, obviously all the EU nations. Serbia, Tunisia, Morocco, Algeria, Russia, Turkey are all treated as EU. Bosnia and Herzegovina and Albania. That's fun. Seen, by the way. I have now. This, yes. <clears throat> It'll be like 3k by the end of July. Yeah, probably. Our third choice right back is now injured. That's fine. Prem loans, here we go. Yeah. Not many coming up on the... I, do, I haven't looked on here for a while, though, actually. Maybe instead of going with what the... Um, DOF's coming up with, maybe I should actually have a look at on here. And look for... Is there anyone who's just like... Really high rep that might want to join now. Dalbert. Is that the Dalbert that played left back for like Inter? It is. He'd be quite a good left back, wouldn't he? Probably very ex expensive. 69 nil Liverpool. I don't think it's gonna I don't think that's gonna be the score, no. Change this guy into Western Europe Europe for one day. Yeah, could do. Can I do that? No. I can't. I can't, I'm afraid. I feel like I'm wasting money on that though, but it is what it is. Ahmed Musa. He was rapid on FIFA, wasn't he, at one point? Papi Cisse. Schlotto. What were we looking for? Yeah, Nasser Chadley was on there. Specifically, what were we looking for? A centre mid, I think I want. As a, a backup somewhere. Victor Wanyama. Oh, there's a throwback. 33. He's playing in Canada at the moment. Maybe, just maybe, there's a, a, a high-rated scouted one. This guy looks good. This guy looks good. Should go over be fun, wouldn't it? Prem loans, maybe put a filter on. Yeah, I might have a look afterwards. Um, Francesco Antonucci. I think you can find cheap loans from Red Star and Partizan for backups, possibly. He could play 10 as well, which we don't have many backups for, do we? Ravel Morrison to a newly promoted Greek team is very realistic, isn't it? He looks like the ex-Belgian PSV wonder kid. He was at Ajax and Feyenoord. He was never at PSV. Bakali, he, yeah, I know who you mean by, yeah. If he's cheap, 
He wants 4K. That's actually the same as what the other ones want. Would he just not be a baller for us? I, d I think I can only offer 2K, though. Yeah, I can. And he wants a wage rise. Maybe, maybe. I'm going to try because I think it'd be brilliant. Um, relegation. What's this for? Release clause. He looks very decent. Yeah. Like he might get bought immediately, but then we get 800K out of it. So it's not the end of the world. If I put these all the way down. Sorry, what? I don't know why I had, why I had to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Unused sub is as high as it can go. Avoid relegation. Uh, sell on fee. You'd get half the money. Maybe a trial. Oh. What did I even change there? That's quite good, isn't it? That's only 2.7k a week. I don't know how I've managed to do that. I wasn't expecting that either. I don't know what just happened. It's not awful. Obviously, if we sell him, we, we don't get any of the money. Because he gets 50% and he's got a release clause of less than a million. But do we care? I'm not sure we do. He looks like he could be pretty good for us. In our midfield. I'm just going to check because they found him quite quickly. Is there a striker rather than... Z Zarati's right up there, look. In terms of the scout report. Oh, we've got a scout report back for Zarati. He's consistent. He... Does he, it doesn't say anything about his big matches. Doesn't feel comfortable playing big matches. Zarati will be good. I think he's fine. 400k pure profit. Exactly, right? You won't be here when he gets sold, so it doesn't matter. Exactly. Okay, so he, can, he might come in and do a job for us. I quite like him. What about... Another centre back... Keeper backup? That's a big red con on big matches. It is, isn't it? I don't think it's the end of the world, though. Like, we don't have many big matches, do we? Playing the system, my kind of contract. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> we did play the system. Uh, I think he'll be our number 10 if we need him to be. I'm just seeing if any names really come up on here. Was he homegrown as well? Not homegrown, but um, non, non EU. Yeah, he was. He's Belgian, wasn't he? Emerson. Who's this Emerson guy? Just a Brazilian. Okay. Uh, he looks quite good. What's the trait you look for most when buying a player? Um, depends on the position, really. To be honest. <clears throat> um, I don't know what to do here. The second best FM YouTuber is always decent. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. I don't lie. Yeah, maybe that's true. Jump in reach is the one we go to. I quite like him, but I think we've pretty sorted for that. We're probably sorted for wingers, aren't we now? No, because we're still looking for a backup, aren't we? Like the Blanco guy. Um, It being too expensive. So maybe we still need to... We do still need to look here. What about recommendation up here? 23-year-old Kosovan. Don't hate it. John Valencia is a free... A freebie Colombian... A, a free Brazilian. Oh, we looked at him before Di Camargo. He looks okay. What about this Kosovan? Is Kosovo treated as EU? On those leagues? I think it is, right? He looks good. Karicha. Who's he wanted by? Don't know those teams. Can play both sides. If he's way cheaper than Blanco, is he just not a good alternative? Let's see what he wants. 2.7. He's quite cheap. quite cheap what do we think let's see how many youtube likes we got 50 60 you could do better come on youtube 100 please off you go better alternative i think you might be right uh is one pro is pace i don't know if he's fully scouted maybe <laughs> you'll make a youtube account one sec thank you buddy appreciate that yeah chat you yeah, twitch chat can go across and like it as well just fyi does really help. Can take corners too. Yeah, he can. All right, let's see. 
I'm not, I can't sign you a Kosovan, I'm afraid. I don't have the money for that. Important player, though. You can do that. 3.3... Ah, I've run out of money. I've run out of money. I'm going to have to walk away. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, the eco. What does... Oh, you've... Ah, Liam's gone across. I see what's happened. Okay. You forgot about the Twitch. I was like, oh, no, it's echoing. And then I realized it's because you've opened both streams. Fair play. <laughs> if we're relegation strugglers, isn't every game a big game? Eh, some antics. It's all semantics, really, isn't it? Does anyone want to buy any of our players to give us some money? Do we fancy... Who's this guy? Moises Brandon. Right back. Can play left back. Why are you a natural inverted fullback? I like it, though. You got your, like, thank you, cheesy. Oh, you'd actually cost money. Oh, I can't buy you. Sorry. <laughs> what did you do? You got it from 60 to 69. Good work. Good work. Resigned after two seasons in Kaiser Chief, winning everything except the African Champions League. Let's see where it, see where it takes you next. Like it. That is a very good journeyman save. Transfer going good. Thank you, Lazy. I actually think we've done really well on this window. <laughs> repeatedly <laughs> repeatedly stating that I've ran out of money and walking away feels like a premonition of me at the bar tonight. Off out on a Sunday. Look at that, Lawless. You li live a lawless life. Oh, yeah. Should we check the um season preview? Like the stream. Can I now come back to Twitch, please? Attila, yeah, you can come back now. You could leave both going if you wanted to. Just saying. If you want to just boost the numbers, you could leave both playing. Just FYI. <laughs> um... What was I going to do? Season preview. Yeah, let's check it. We're up to 200 to 1. We're now predicted 12 out of 14 and not 13 out of 14. It's not amazing though, is it? Oh yeah, mute one of them. That's that's true. Um, Maldini Cacciuri from Arsenal. I don't think he's going to be free for us or want to come to us though. That's the problem. He's at Forest Green. <clears throat> How many get relegated? Good question. I assume two, because two came up, so two would go down, right? Um. Oh. Yeah, but also it does split into a relegation group, look. And then when it gets to the relegation group, yeah, two of them get relegated, who finish seventh and eighth. Yeah. Have tomorrow off as a day in lieu and feel like the bar will be needed after United versus Liverpool. Fair enough. Good work. Okay, scouting finished. Doesn't feel comfortable playing big matches. Fairly poor in the air. Needs to learn the language. Doesn't have the greatest jumping reach. Otherwise, though, he's pretty good. An A-rated signing for Zerati. It's not the worst. Two drop and it's the same three or four teams that tend to cycle through. Yeah, it's probably going to be us. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, two. Um, Joaquin to Olympiakos. We're going to really... It's going to be, I think, difficult when we first play one of those big teams and see... Then again, we got a result against Pauk last year, didn't we? Maybe we'll be all right. Maybe we'll be fine. Got a lot of friendlies to get through. I will try to today... Well, for next stream, um, either midweek or next weekend, I'll try and rattle through a lot of this preseason to get us to start the season for next time. Zarati can sign. Am I doing this? That's 3.7k in wages. It's a lot. The Zarati kid, here we go. It's a lot. We're going to be way over our wage budget, but let's do it. Let's bring him in. Hopefully it doesn't mean that we can't do anything else, but let's do it. <clears throat> Pansaraikos u Aodrego. That must be a different Aodrego than the one that is actually good, surely, right? Well, I wonder what Zarati's uh, value is going to be here. B plus signing, send him on the language course, get them to be welcomed. Yeah, it's a different one. Yeah, that makes sense then. Uh, get him registered. That's now five non EUs plus Rayan who comes in. That'll be six. We've still got two spaces. What number do you want, Zarati? Number seven, number 11. Who else are we signing? Rayan could get seven. Let's give him number 11. Eh, probably not the right number, but let's give him it. I think it, I think it kind of fits. I like it. He's worth... All right, yeah. So, like, actually, he's got a release clause, hasn't he? Yeah, he's worth around his release clause, which makes sense. Um, It is nice, though, having a save where we've got numbers. When you think of the, the Worcester save last year, it's nice to see the numbers on the skin. Um, What are the other players' values now? Do we have anyone with, like, big value? 
No, he's our biggest value player. Mayas is our, our the next one. Lamek is quite highly valued as well. Uh, you are resigning at the end of the season. Why would you care about the team's finances? Well, I'm probably not going to resign, but I am going to try to leave. So slightly different, but same. I guess yeah. I shouldn't. I shouldn't care that much, should I? Um, with three k over, I can put some more in actually. Not much though. Um, I tell you what I need. I need a backup goalkeeper loan. A free loan, please. £200 a week. He's Argentinian is the issue. Probably not going to use a non-EU on him. Let's bring a... We've got a lot of Polish players joining. Do I bring this guy in as our backup goalkeeper on loan? Are you happy to be a, goal, a backup? He would be free. I'll pay you... £20 a week if you can make it. Should I just sign him as first choice and then not make him first choice? I guess we do that, don't we? At least we'll have another keeper in our squad then. Uh, okay, we've signed you. Another youth player. How often do you stream and when do you stream? Uh, Kev, we stream twice a week at least. If not, sometimes three. We stream on a... Um, Weekend mornings, 10 a.m. on a Saturday, 10 a.m. on a Sunday, there or thereabouts every week, sometimes on a Wednesday evening. And then if it's holidays, on other days too. Being a bit Polish, I can say that we are cheap labour. Well, you're lucky that you can say that. You've made me read it out though, which sounds horrendous. <laughs> Two drop. Oh yeah, you said that. Antonucci in. Wow. This is a big one. We've managed to get it done, even though we're way over our wage budget. We've managed to get in what I think is going to be a really good... I was quoting, you know this. Um, Antonucci looks very good. Again, his value is not going to be high because of the release clause, but I think that even might push us up the um, projected table. Yeah, we're up to 10th. Just by signing those couple of players... Up to 10th, um, above some, some decent teams there as well. Should have Harvard referenced it. I really should have done, shouldn't I? Let's get him registered. <laughs> Just imagine what Fiona. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Right, what number should we give him? Number seven? Or do I want to save that for... kind of want to save that for our boy. Should have given him eight, because he probably starts ahead of him now. Number 19 is a cool number. You can take that one. <clears throat> yeah, a bit. Not specific amount. Bit. How Polish are you? Bit. <laughs> right, another goal. The lone goalie's in on a free as well. Happy days. We've got a squad. If I now get rid of... Annoyingly, this is annoying. I wish I could now um, filter out just trial players. Why can I only filter out on on loan or trial? Like I want the obviously I don't want the trialists in here. I don't care about the others. <clears throat> um also we can put these guys on the bench now. You're our goalie backup. Zarati comes in, maybe even as a striker. Antonucci comes in. Um Rayan goes in this spot here. Does Zarati start? Does Zarati starty? And does that actually mean that Melo starts here? Does Demetrius come out for Antonucci? He probably has to. Not with a club that gets rid of trials but keeps loans. Options. It's good to have the options. We will need them. We had a lot of a lot of injuries last year. Because what you can then do is also... Can Zarate play a bit deeper? I don't hate Shadow Striker Zarate. Play Mello there. You play Antonucci in here. And then Collardal doesn't play, but Rayan plays here, look. Can even go two up top. Yeah, I need to loan in some uh, alternative tactics, I think, actually. Maybe like a 4-4-2 or something. So we get two strikers. Basically this, but with two strikers. A lot of moving about that. Yeah, but I think just as an option, we've it's not necessarily... We'll work out what our best team is, won't we? What does Quick Pick say now? Uh, oh, Quick Pick will pick some of the trialists, though, won't they? Also got Jovanovic on the bench as well there, look. We've almost got a full bench. 
plus the under 19s. Well, this is a full bench for the actual bench that we can use. I think we're ready. I'm happy. I think we've got a really cool team. Maybe a bit light in centre backs. I'm not sure on the quality of Vice and Lazar. Other than that, I think we've got a lot of really good attacking players. Zarati scores goals. Antonucci, I think, is good. I've actually built a squad, yeah. If you're well over the wages, bin the trials. Yeah, I could just bin the trials, actually, couldn't I? We're not going to sign any of these guys now, so you're probably right. Uh, terminate trials. Because, yeah, they're not coming in when we are 7k over wages. Oh, that's true, actually. We could oh, we could have put them in the B team, but I'm just going to get rid of them, I think. <clears throat> Alright, trial finishes of these guys. We've just won a friendly 4-0. What did they pick? Or was it because I had them picked that he picked the team that I picked? It probably was, right? Yeah, it was. I mean, it looks good. I don't know who this... Oh, no, they're... Do you know what? I keep saying, do you know what? It's annoying me. Do you know what, though? This team is a team in our league. They got promoted with us, and we've beaten them 4-0 away. And dominated them. Like, they may have rotated because it's a friendly. But that's all right, isn't it? That's a good sign for the season. Two from Lameca. Vinicius Mello and Antonucci scored on his first appearance. Hey, we've built a squad here. What does the quick pick say? Oh, I won't do it now. Pick best 11. This is what the quick pick says. Jovanovic. He thinks Jovanovic is our best player. Our best striker, sorry. Colladao plays Demetrius Wise. Lameca on the right. Levi Levici in ahead of Lazar. Yeah, I think they probably will get relegated, won't they, um, Nicky? Banging playlist. Thank you, Rain. It is a classic. All right. That goes to show that we've got good options, though, doesn't it? Even centre-back, look. Uh, Wojcik in over Mayas. I think we'll go Mayas because he's our player, but still. In fact, can I just... I can't undo twice, can I? Can I? No. Um, annoying, because now I've got to actually pick the team that I want. But still. Lameca back over here. Demetrius out. Uh, Demetrius can play there for now, actually. Put Melo there for now. Stokopoulos, Collardal. Did you get injured? Oh, dear. Two to three weeks. That's annoying. Going to be top four or five. I hope so. I think we've got the quality. Um, Mayas back in. Vice. And then Lazar back in there. Oh, look. Even the keeper got changed. He's surely not better, though, is he? Why did it change that keeper then on the pick the best 11? If you also rate him lower in according to your star ratings. I don't know. Maybe that's taken into account like tiredness and things. I'm not sure. Oh, it's been that for ages, Magical, since the start. <laughs> I love, I like having fun with the tactical styles and the names. God status of your goalkeeper, maybe because of the loan agreement. Good point. Probably is that, isn't it? I wonder what my squad, what's the squad status of Kotsaris? He's, he's also agreed first choice goalkeeper, but it might have been that. Yeah, they do take that into account, don't they? Basically, they treat it like a promise, I think. Might get smashed six or seven by Olympiakos and beat the teams around us. That might just be the plan. Uh, we've got some new signings coming in. I don't know who I'm talking about, but I'll say centre mid. Oh, this is um, Antonucci, wasn't it? I think. <laughs> Wagner Love injured. Oh, no. 40-year-old has hurt his knee. Yeah, take the payday of Olympiakos and go from there. Is there anything else that I need to do? Staff? Should I try and get my staff in? Could I ask for another another coach? And I need a chief scout. Let's ask for another scout. Uh, Another physio? Let's might as well ask for more. Uh, who will take the pens now? Yeah, true. He's got a bad knee. He can't now, can he? Staff admin, please. <laughs> Olympiakos is not what it used to be. Ike and Pauk are more dangerous. Do you think, Bill? And you say that as an Olympiakos supporter. Do we bring staff in is when we move? Oh, yeah. I think we have to bring, like, depending on the team we go to, it would be cool to take, like, Manny Fanny with us. I need to add a, a picture for Manny Fanny. Uh, what's his actual name? What does he actually look like? Let's find out. What's his name? Because it's not just Manny Fanny, is it? Uh, Emmanuel Fanny. Emmanuel Fanny. Right, that, that doesn't help. I don't know if he's any of these people. 
doesn't really come up with anyone on Google. And now I have just Googled Fanny, uh, which is maybe not a good shot. Well, I'll, I'll make a picture for Manny Fanny for next stream, shall I? Please don't Google that. Yeah, fair enough. Um, <laughs> Fagner needs to go. He's old and big wages. I know, Milosh. I just don't think we're going to be able to let him go because of no one's going to buy him, are they, with those wages? No one are idiots like me. Um, right. Chief Scout, let's search for one. What's this doing? Chief Scout attributes. Uh, Scout. Chief Scout as if that's any different. I don't care about the adaptability. I just want to get the best one of these. Are these all interested? With 1717? Oh, it's match 0 out of 2. I was going to say. I was going to say. Right, you're a manager. You're a head of development. Uh, youth development you could please come in and be my chief scout please 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 or even as a coach would actually be alright what's the difference between chief scout and a normal one you pay them a bit more I think I don't really, don't really know oh well he's that's annoying probably should have offered him more money there shouldn't I uh, you, you searched Emmanuel Fanny Italian football coach and Mario Balotelli popped up top search we'll add his photo then I guess you're a manager. I'm going to guess you don't want to come and be my coach. You do want to be the assistant manager, though. Fair play to you. £900 a week. Do you want to be a chief scout? No. Okay. Yeah, that wassail is good. Uh, Director of football. Do you want to be a chief scout, though? Oh, he wants to be a scout. All right, this guy can be our guy. You're in. Methodi. <laughs> I always add people management for Chiefs and... Yeah, yeah I guess so. Because they're actually in charge of people, aren't they? Except for job role. Yeah, I just like to... It, you can sometimes find ones that aren't. Like, that was a director of football that was quite good. Chief Scouts is managing the other Scouts and sets the criteria of the director of football. Yeah, but in-game, it doesn't really do it, does it? Um, Realise... Release him hurts right now, but better in the long run. Uh, he won't go. He's got a contract, so you can't just release him. You'd have to pay loads of compensation. We have no money. So you, I, I can't get rid of Agna Love. Which doesn't happen. All right, what do they say to this? They've said no. Uh, they've said no. I can discuss this one, though. For, I would like another physio, please. Really important. All right. I don't like this bloke. Oh, you've given it. Okay, I like you. You've given us a new coach. <laughs> really quickly changed my mind then. How many coaches can we have now? One more coach. We will take it. Uh, how is what needs improving on here? Everything is the answer. In fact, do I need to just update this at all? Does that improve things? Not really. Just any coach then, right? That was a fast turnaround, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, does anyone have any advice for a Bill Bow save? I'm kind of having trouble because good youth prospects from other clubs don't want to leave until they're 18, which automatically makes them unavailable. In principle, I can recruit 16-year-olds per club policy, but no one actually wants to leave their club. Yeah, that's tough. That's, yeah, I don't know. Is the answer. I've never done a Bilbao save, although it's quite tempting. I don't think I've ever actually done one. Um, yeah, that's rough, though. Hello, I am here, Orange Train Car. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Coach, coach. No. Any really good coaches want to come on in? Adrian Whitbread. Come and coach my team. Sister manager. Don't think so. Mate. I've already got one of those. His name's Manny Fanny. So. Welcome. How much? 30k? No, thank you. Can't afford it. Sorry. Sorry, Adrian. Uh, not quite, Hanley. No. All right. <laughs> Just shouted, How much? <laughs> Imagine just saying that in a job interview, exactly. <laughs> Stephen DeFore's there. All right, then. Come on in. Come on in. You can have £850 if we avoid relegation okay. as well. Bonus. It's a bonus, Stephen. Remember when Manchester United were like, nearly signed Stephen DeFore? Weirdly, Alex Ferguson loved him, didn't he? That was weird. Strange time. Get him in. Yeah, he's coming in. We've got Olympiakos in a friendly. This will be a nice little uh, temperature check for us, won't it? Let's see how good we are. Yeah, then he went Burnley. 
That James Robery used to be manager of Newport, did he? Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, no, don't care. Right, let's see how we get on against Olympiacos. If we beat these, we're winning it all, I believe. I have no doubts. <laughs> I have some doubts. We've lost 2-1. Hey, we didn't get smashed. We've got Antonucci scored another goal. Not the worst. Could have been a lot worse, that, couldn't it? Um, right, training schedules. I... You're still out injured. If you don't believe. Have we got any transfers that are still coming in? No, that's actually everything done now, isn't it? Don't know what to have to lunch for lunch. Me neither. Me neither. I'm gonna... I, I might make some mince pies, though. Um, I also need to sort out this video and upload it for Tom to edit. Maybe record another one. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions. Thoughts. Thinking. All right. I think, though... Oh, look. They've made an offer for Gory. If he goes for less than, like, 5k, I'm going to be annoyed about that one. Roast chicken stuffing sandwiches are really good. Right. New chief scouting. Welcome in, Tom on Tomanov. How does that help our... Yeah, a little bit better. Still not as good as the rest of the league, but a little bit better. One more coach. I can get some performance analysts as well. Do I get some of those in? I do want roast chicken stuffing sandwiches now as well. Performance. Uh, coaching. Performance analyst. Performance analyst. Uh, two out of two. Just staff admin is what we're doing now. We've done our business. Dan Payne. Dan, bring the pain pain is what they call him. We can get two, so we'll get both of these. Already had my lunch. Lovely curry pot noodle. Great work. Great work. Uh, performance analyst. I can give you, you know what, £150 a week. Pay rise. Dan, bring the pain pain. That's what we're going to call him. 450? God, you're expensive. Welcome. We could get ahead one of these, couldn't we? Bring Dan Payne. Good. Very good. Uh, gotta go. Fully focus on my studies. Jonas, thanks for hanging out, buddy. I appreciate it. Uh, enjoyed watching along. Wishing you a lovely Sunday. You too. I hope the studying goes well, dude. Yeah, thanks for hanging about and dropping your comments in. I do appreciate it. Your messages. Right, the four is in. Welcome to Stephen the four. What do performance analysts do? Right, I'm going to shock you here. They analyze the performances. Basically, all of your, all of this stuff, um, all of like the, after, you know, when they analyzed how the, how the game went, etc., etc. That's your performance analysts that do that. <laughs> Whoa, mind blown. I mean, if you don't use that stuff, they do nothing for you, but it's just nice to have them, isn't it? Uh, we'll get you to do that. You are a coach. Do I need to update my coaching here? Yeah, basically all the data hub stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Does that improve things? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of be a little bit better. A little bit better. <laughs> yeah. They're the ones with the iPads. When did Stephen DeFour... Can Stephen DeFour become Stephen De One? Uh, no, he used to be Stephen De One, And then he was Stephen De Two, Stephen De Three. At some point, he evolves into Stephen De Five. That's what we need to look out for. Do you think both Chelsea and United will have new coaches when the next season starts? Uh, United, probably. I think Chelsea... I don't think, see what they improve by getting rid of Poch. So I think they just need to continue. We've won 4 0 in this one. Demetrius, Antonucci, Lumeka, and Demetrius again. Demetrius still like, I'm going to start, lads. Even though he's been here a while. <laughs> it's deserved. Good. <laughs> Does that happen when he retires? The next step of the d d numbers? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the game somewhere, there'll be a, a Stephen the 5 and a Stephen the 6. Somewhere. They might not have spawned in yet, but yeah, they will do at some point. <laughs> we chat rubbish don't we Wolves have gone to a back 5 of, a back 4 fun 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 I'm scared alright I think chat I think we might leave it there for today I'm gonna go and 
now that you keep talking about food, I'm going to go make some lunch, I think, and then get ready to watch Liverpool later. I think I've got a... Vi I want to do another video, so I might do that beforehand today. Get that done. Um, but yeah, thank you for hanging out. I feel like, as we bring in Dan DePayne Payne in, uh, I feel like we've built a squad here, you know? I think we've brought... Actually built a squad. I'm quite happy with what we've managed to do. From, was it 400 to 1 to 200 to 1? We just need to stay in the league. If we stay in the league, we get that that nice little reputation boost. We might be might be in a good place. We're still half a star reputation. It was 10%. It's still 10%. Good work. Right, chat. Big up the pool. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared, duck. Thank you very much for hanging out there. I'll drop a save here. I will set up a little raid. Let's have a look at who's going live over on Twitch. YouTube, thank you for hanging out. There'll be videos out on Tuesday and hopefully Thursday, depending if I get one recorded today, but that's the plan. Um, enjoy. Have a good rest of your weekend. Thanks for hanging out.